Okay, are we here, guys? Oh, I think we're here. see hi guys just a minute let me set my camera up here i think we're i think we're good <laughs> it was touch and go there for a minute <laughs> it was touch and go uh let's see and we're on white paper and black ink so we'll see how this goes okay so yay we're here we're here Hi, Muffy, Zandra, Rachel, Darla, Robin, Miss Pepsi, Barbara, Zoe, Newbie, Cheryl, Louise, Cheryl, Rosa. Hi, Julie Topaz, Rachel, Ashley, Kat. Hey, everybody. So I think we're good. I got a little bit of a glare on the ink there. A little bit of glare. Let's move that back. I don't know if that'll help. So, uh, yeah, I wanted, I kind of wanted to work on this. I might do some coloring. We'll see. It's Friday. <laughs> Hi, Kenny. Um, Diane. <clears throat> Hi, Fireball Beth. Let me tweet again. Hi, Margaret. Lisa, I'm sure I'm missing some people. Thanks, everybody. Hi, Art Peace. Pacola, who else? Hi, Nick and Tina. Let me make sure my phone, because I was on the phone with my daughter. Let me turn the volume down there. Okay. Okay, there we go. All right. Cat wants in. I guess I can, this is okay. I think I can let her in for a minute. Hubster's getting ready to leave. All right, there you go. I'm sure she'll be right up here on my desk any minute. There she is. <laughs> Christina, hi, Melody. Thanks, everybody, for stopping in. Can you hear me okay? I see you, baby girl. I see you. Yeah, yeah. Going to sit on, going to catch that fish? <laughs> uh, she's just a purring. <clears throat> she could hear her audience calling for her. I know. No, can't go that way. That's the only way you can't go because the cords can't go over to the cords. I see you, sweet little thing. I see you. I see you. I see you. Oh, yes, I see you. <laughs> I know she is cute, isn't she? Oh, yeah, she's adorbs. She's adorbs. Are you going to get in my sweater? You want to play on my sweater? Yeah, baby. Everybody's fine, Rachel. Everybody's good. Everybody's good. Let's go off the phone with Denise. I'm hoping Boo at least will come down toward my birthday. The thing is, is my birthday falls on um, Super Bowl weekend. And it's not just like it's on TV. It's here in Atlanta. We don't want to drive through Atlanta on Super Bowl weekend. <laughs> he is, Rachel. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we'll um, we'll see. So, you know, like him. No, can't go that way. She, they just love the cords. They don't bite them, but they just want to get around behind my computer. And that's, you know, they'll unplug me. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, Zandra. <clears throat> so what's everybody else up to this weekend? Okay, Melody. 
<coughs> get a sip of coffee. I didn't get juice. I just got coffee this morning. You can go that way, but don't get behind the computer. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I don't know if I want to work on this. I have, I have, this, I could work on either this or maybe I'll do a little of both. Work on this. And I also have the, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, honey, there's no room there for you. Come back over here. There's more room over there. You're right next to my coffee. That makes me nervous. Um, or my color book page in Momo Girl, the double page spread that I'm almost done with. <coughs> Hi, Tanya, Natalie, Ann. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for being here. Auntie Ro, Rosa. So remember, guys, if you want to ask me anything or talk to me, <laughs> look, <laughs> my cat grew grew a tail my cat's turning into a mermaid look turning into a mermaid <laughs> oh, oh you're swatching margaret okay <clears throat> yeah i don't have the black widows <coughs> i just don't think i need any more pencils uh, i think i'm going to replenish some of my prismas shortly i'm going to buy some new prismas um, to replenish, I'm going to uh, restock or 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 get. I have a couple of refills for my Copic skin set, but I might uh, get a couple more of that. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I'm gonna get a few things, re refresh some things. Looking for new living room furniture. Did I say hi to you, newbie? Share all newbie, Darla. Hi, Mark. Uh, Journey. Journey ordered some ink tents. Hi, Maxie. So, yeah, I've been I've been working a little bit on my fish here. I got some thin lines in here. It all kind of hold it. See, I got some thin lines going on the inside. I got a shade, everything. And uh, I'm still working on all the little thin all these thin uh, fins and then I drew in some bubbles in the background. So I think what I'm going to do, uh, you may have missed the other day that I am learning chunky chowders. Oh yeah. No, I saw it, Robin. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad you should be getting your stamp uh, set. Like maybe today, maybe today or tomorrow. Um, hi, Lynn, Lynn, Lynn. Okay. There she is. Lynn sent me something guys i was hoping to see her and lynn send me your address if you will so i can send you uh art some happy mail art thank you lynn said she didn't like it that she <laughs> she didn't like it that she couldn't see the before and after in our abandoned places and our abandoned castles you know i have two copies of abandoned civilizations she didn't like it that she couldn't see before and after in abandoned castles and abandoned places. So she sent me, <laughs> she sent me fresh copies. Thank you so much, Lynn. <laughs> so now when we do abandoned places, we can do before and after pictures. So you can see the before and after. And uh, yeah, I should do a flip through of abandoned places because I have never been able to do that. Castles was is still fairly new. I don't have that many pages done in abandoned castles yet. But uh, we have a lot done in abandoned places. Okay, let's do that real quick. Okay, so let me get my abandoned places y'all want to do that? Real quick before we ink. You want to do this? <laughs> I need to prop it up, though, just a little because the light's going to give me a glare. Let's see here. Let's get a couple books over here. Let's get a couple books to prop. <clears throat> well, I'm going to have to flip through them, but still. Okay, that's better. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, before and after. So, okay, so let's see, how do I want to do this? Let's see. Do I want to go over here and just, let's see. How do I, let's 
go this way. <laughs> So thank you so much, Lynn. Make sure and send me your address so I can uh, I can um, thank you. Okay, now let's see. I think I'm just going to have to set one over here to the side and then just do this over here and then open and then just put it on top, right? Okay, so this one is not finished. Okay, wait a minute. So let me adjust my camera. Let's see here. Move this out. Hang on, guys, i got to get it straight. There we go. Now let me adjust the lighting again because we changed. We changed. Uh, still focused, I think. The lighting's way off, though. It's... Okay, that's better. We'll do this real quick. Hi, Eileen. Okay, so like um, here is, well, this one's still in progress, but here's what it looks like with, let me take this dust jacket off. That's going to get in the way. <clears throat> so that's just as far as I've got on that one. Not too far, but you can see what they look like before and after. All right, let's see. Let's do this real quick. I say real quick. Nothing's ever real quick. Okay, so here's this one. And that's propped up too high. There we go. There we go. Okay, and this didn't have any, this had a blank page. So this is what this one looks like. And then we did this so far. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah. So we'll, um, this one is done and varnished. See the shine? That I mean, that's varnished. Some of the pages are varnished. Oh, there we go. And I do have tabs on some of the ones that are finished because um, because I always look, go to them. All right, let's see. So this is what this one looked like originally. Here's this one. Hi, Janet. Lynn sent me duplicates of abandoned places and abandoned uh, castles. So now we can do before and after pictures. <laughs> And again, guys, I do have tabs stuck on them. Is a color? Yeah, it's good. Okay, so let's see the next. I should just go right to the <clears throat> finish. Okay, but I will show you this. Even though I do have another one uh, that is completed, I think it's in this book. But this is one of those that have four pictures. Now, this is not done yet, but this is how it starts to make four cohesive pictures into one thing. So this is what we started with. And this is where we've got so far. So you see how we're trying to integrate all four pictures into one. All right, let's see. I won't show, like, this is not done, so I won't show everything. Um, here's one. <clears throat> Let me flip over that one. Yeah, again, this is another one with four pictures. Not done, but this is what we started with. And <clears throat> this is what it is so far. See how cool that is, right? Hi, Siren. Anybody else popping in? I'm showing the before and afters in my abandoned book book because uh, Lynn, Lynn J sent me duplicates so we can do befores and afters now. Like, I won't show that one. This one is still in progress, but I can still show that. Okay, so this is in progress, but here's, here's what it looked like originally. And again, this book is by Kirion Connolly, who you can follow on Twitter. Okay, so there's that. This one, and we haven't, I haven't done much to that. Well, I did add a house in a while. <laughs> we started with nothing, but, you know, that we got this far, this so far. Aw, thanks, Janet. Okay, this one, and again, I do have tabs on all the ones that are uh in you know done, pretty much done this one's pretty dramatic this one's pretty dramatic here's what it looks like before and here's what it looks like after it's just so fun to alter a book or books multiple books okay this one this is what it looked like this one's still in progress i'm doing some extra things over here but this is what it started as. And this is where we've gone to. I love having this. I didn't think I would. I mean, 
I was so appreciate. I just didn't think I would love to see the dramaticness of it again. But I really do, Lynn. I really love seeing the dramaticness of it. This one hasn't been done much to. This one, I just got a little bit of, let's see here. See, not, not too much done to that one. I'm adding some uh, uh, mountains in the back and started doing lighting. Okay, here's one that is another one that's four different pictures. That is, This is still in progress as well. Actually, it's three pictures. So here we go. To this. So it's still. Hi, Sue. Hope you're feeling better. <clears throat> you just watched one of my vids from 2016. Yeah, it's not HD. I mean, I know the quality is not there for those older videos, but thank you. Okay, so this one had a blank page. So we're I'm going to try to incorporate the two pages together. So this is what it was, and this is where we are. Hi, Adele. Thank you, Bacola. Thanks, everybody, for the thumbs up already. Okay, again, in progress, this doesn't have a lot done. If it doesn't have a tab on it, it's not done. So this is not done yet. <clears throat> but you can see some of the, let's see, let's go to this one's not done either, but this is, this is what started as, and this is where we are so far. It is cool to see the before and after. Okay, this one, flip over. Okay, here's what it looked like before. Here's what it looks like now. See all the paint colors, how I've changed the paint with paint? Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Brenda. Okay, this one's done, so it has a, it has a tab on it. Let's see here. Where is this one? Did I miss one? I think I missed one. No, where is this one? Oh, here it is. Okay, so this one's really dramatic because I added a castle to it. So this is what it looked like before. This is what it was before. And here's what we changed it to. <clears throat> so before, after. What do I, Linda, I talk, every time I do a page, I tell you everything I use. I use, uh, a, 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 the paint is just craft paint. It's just craft paint. And some color pencils and other things, but the bulk of the color is paint. You like the one at the castle? Yeah. Before, after. Okay, so let's see. Next page. This is one of my favorites. So this is what it was before. This is the day version and the night version. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know. Don't you love it? Thank you so much, Lynn. Lynn sent me the, the, the uh, so now I have two copies of all of them. Abandoned castles, abandoned civilizations, and abandoned places. So now anytime we work on one, I have one of each. <coughs> yeah, here's the before and after. Okay, let's keep moving here. See, some's just got some black painted, the text painted out. I'm not going to show all of them. I'll show the finished ones. Oh, I should have put that back on here. Let's put, uh, let's put this back on here. So I have tabs on the finished ones. Okay, here we go. Now, some of them aren't varnished yet, but um, where's this one? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> so there's here's the before and the after. That one's pretty dramatic. Yeah. Put the Tower of London in there. <laughs> okay, this one's still in progress too. It doesn't have a lot done to it. It's got a little bit done to it. Oh, uh, let's see. This one's done. Oh, wait, let's put that tab back in there. I want to keep the... Okay. All right, this one. <clears throat> here we go. Here it is before and after. I know it is so dramatic, isn't it, Judy? And hi, by the way. Hi, Brenda. Anybody else popping in? Thanks, guys, for being here. So, yeah, before, 
after. Okay, let's see. Oops, tab. Okay. <clears throat> Ready? There we go. And see, all the edges are painted out. Yeah, I do a lot. Of, well, I do them on pretty much all of them I have videos for. Not every one, but the bulk of them I have videos for. Okay. <clears throat> I just love this. I love, doing this. I love seeing the before and after. Okay, so here's... This one's not too much done to it. There's a little bit of a shine there. Okay, this one. I've seen them in person. Oh, thanks, Sus. I'm glad you, you liked them in person. <clears throat> see, some I've just got. You know, some like this. I, they're not. It's not done yet. Let's see. Let me give it that one. Like this one. See, all I've really done on this one is the sky. See, that's all I've done on this one. And look how dramatic that looks just by doing the sky. <clears throat> but it's not done. This is not done. Okay. This one's not done, but I'll show it to you so far. So if you're just joining us, I'm showing my um, before and afters in abandoned places because Lynn bought me uh, new copies of new copies of the book so I, I can show befores and afters. I, I do too. I you know I see the oh the in process ones. This one I tore because I got glue um, seeped over, but I'll fix it later. Okay, well here's one that's in progress. Here's one in progress, Bacola. See, this is just starting to to uh, reverse collage it out. Okay, then this this one is um, this one is varnished, so it's shiny. All right, this I love this page. This is one of my favorite pages. Okay, let's see. Um, where is this one? Let me see what was before. Okay, the next page. Okay, this one's really dramatic. Okay, so there's a shine because it's varnished. Let me let me switch this out here. There we go. Okay, so this is the after. This one's very dramatic. This is what I started with here. Okay. Yes, Nana, Nana's place does this too. Yeah, she does. Tracy, yeah. All right, so this is what it started. And this is what, yeah, I got her hooked on it. <laughs> I did, I got her hooked on it. She does awesome, yeah. Okay, so this is what it looks like after. So here's the before and the after. <clears throat> okay, the next one. Oh, let's put that, put that back in there. Let's take this one. Okay, so before, after. <laughs> yeah, my little um, coyotes or whatever they are. I think they're coyotes. With red eyes so yeah this is what i started with this is a hi madonna oh thank you if i missed it saying hi to anybody okay so oh let's go back let's put one okay this one this one we did fairly recently let's go to the next page so here's what we started with and this is what we changed it to and there's a video on this one, too. There's a video on pretty much... I think there's a video on this one. Pretty sure. Yeah, this one. This one's really dramatic. 
and then to this. Okay. This, let's see, next here. This one's still in progress, but I'll show it to you because it doesn't have the sky and stars done. So this is what we started with. See how dramatic you can do it? Uh, thank you, Rachel. Uh, this one's still in progress. <clears throat> before. Here's the before and after. And it's still, this one's still in progress, I'm making this an ice, like an undersea ice world. So this is what started. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Uh, this one is in progress. So this started out with all these pictures. And this is where we're going with it, with a whole a dimensional hole in the sky there. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this started out like this. And we changed it to this. This is all this really has is those planes glued on it, nothing else. Okay, here, this one's in progress still. Here's what we started with. And here's where we're going with it. See, it's not, I have a post it on it, but it's not done. So that's where that one's going. This one's just got a little bit of stuff glued on it. This one's nothing, nothing. Okay, this one's done and varnished. <clears throat> I think this is the right one. Yeah. Okay, so this is this one's really dramatic. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Hi, Bridget. Hi, Linda. Uh, new to color to community. Never seen this. How did you get started? I've always done collage, and I've also done altered books for a long time. Um, we've been doing this for a lot of years. I call it reverse collage. So there's this is what we started with. You got to just build a whole new world. And we built this world right here. And this one has been varnished. They'll eventually all be varnished. And if you want to know what I use, the varnish, the glues, everything. Any, if you watch any one of my mixed media, a bit, um, mixed media altered book videos and i tell you everything i use every time i do it i repeat myself i repeat myself to tell you okay this one's in progress so not really a lot done to this one yet so let me see all right let's see this one's in progress not a lot done on it yet Oh, I forgot to put this in there somewhere. Let's put this back in here. I love, this is one of my favorite ones. And this one's real dramatic too. Let me show you. Okay. So in this one, I had a gray sky and water, but none of this water. So this is what it looked like before. Oh, you're welcome, newbie. This is what we started with. And this is what we went to before, after. <clears throat> All right, this one's done. This is so fun to me. Okay, this is really, this was another dramatic one. Here's before and after. I just wanted to do this because I have the the uh, Lynn sent the uh, this one. All I've added is that uh, Lynn sent me new fresh copies, so now we can do this. We can show befores and afters. This one is still a way in progress. I'm going to have all this look like geometry. Um, so this one's got a long ways to go, but you can see what we started as started as this. Hi, BDI Beth. You did an awesome draw, uh, cat drawing. I saw that on Twitter. And then this is what we turned it to. This one's done. 
me find the page here. So here's what we started with. And here's what we turned it into. A few more pages, guys. We've done a lot. That's why this book, it's awesome to have this because um, this has the most finished pages of any of my uh, altered books. So here's what it started as. And this is what we turn it into. See, I paint out all the edges. See all the white there? I paint all that out and make it blend into the, the world there. So, yeah. Oh, thanks. You're welcome, Linda. So that's that one. This one is still in progress, but I will show it to you. Is this it? Yes. We're in progress with this one. I know, right, Leah? It's fun to see the change. Okay. This one. that okay. not a lot done on this one yet it's not done but we started it okay here we go <clears throat> this and I totally painted out the sky so the sky is totally painted out and there's paint down here too but that's totally redone okay this is the one I told y'all this is my least favorite in the book I did not like it my I, I'm gonna have to re uh, refeather this <laughs> but uh, this is what it started as and this is where it's gone to but I don't like the feathers so I'm going to redo those uh, this one is in progress let's see here <clears throat> Yeah, making other worlds, making new worlds. This one has just got a little bit of paint on the sides. Okay, here's one that's done. This one is one of the first ones I think I did in this book. Let me get over to it. Go. <clears throat> and it's a little flashed out there. Yeah, Dolly, I love Dolly. Well, not him as a, maybe not personally, but I love his art, I should say. This one's in progress. Here's another one in progress. Here's what it started as. And this is where we're going with it. So thank you, Lynn, for sending. This is just in progress, too. Most of the rest of these. This has got a little bit of stuff done here at the back. I think this is the last one. Um, So anyway, it's Abandoned Places, Kiri and Connolly. And this is the one that we have done the most altering in. You can see it starts to flare. It starts to, you know, get messed up in the spine. <laughs> but I don't care. That's, you know, that, that happens when you work in a, a book from, you know, all through a whole book. So anyway, um, thanks. Thanks so much. Lynn, she sent another abandoned places and she sent uh, abandoned castles. So now we have both. We have one of each. <clears throat> okay, so now what was I started to do here, but I got, um, <laughs> I had to go off on that rabbit trail. Had to. It's just too cool. <laughs> so now I've been working on this, um, this fish. And uh, so I thought maybe I'd work a little bit on this. I also have this to finish. 
this is my plan for the day. Finish this and finish this. This is this is 90% done. So this is the Momo Girls um, music. And I want to finish this double page spread. So, yeah. That's today's plan. And uh, Helen, Elliston, when we did, um, on Monday we worked in this book, she did leave a comment on my um, on my YouTube channel, on the YouTube channel comments. She left a comment, said there is a number two, and she's working on number three. So there's going to be a third one, a color of special effects. This is one. Number two, you can find it on Amazon, and she's working on number three, she said. So there's that. Let's see what else. Okay, so what I want to do, um, what I want to do with this is I thought about inking everything in the background. So can y'all see all the bubbles that I put in there? The thing about I want to, I'm gonna go ahead and acrylic paint the background. Reason being, if I acrylic paint the background i can do the pencil glows and things around the bubbles so i am going to paint the background of this black oh you're welcome <laughs> thank you for going down that rabbit hole yeah <laughs> margaret i like all those little bunnies <laughs> hi Annie Ro. uh let's see yeah and thanks everybody for um all the thumbs up and if I do miss saying hi to somebody, hi, Ian, it, I, I'm not ignoring you. It's just that it goes by fast. And unless I'm just sitting here staring and reading at chat, I'm bound to miss some comments. So at least put them in caps. And if I miss it, just put it in again. Okay, so I've started down here um, inking and shading down here in these fins. And that's as far as I've got in the shading. I did start doing some extra finage <laughs> extra fins there uh i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a little bit of shading on him i did do all the thin lines and the pins that i've been using um i've been cross hatching just with the sharpie pen oh let me start over because you might not have been here when i started this so last was it last week we did a whole bunch of projects i think it was last week it wasn't monday was it no i I don't know. It had to be last. I lose track of days, guys. I just can't. I work all the time and I forget what at what point do I work on this? What day do I work on that? So if I get the days wrong, just look on the videos and I have playlists for everything. So I drew the this was done in the last 30 minutes of one of the shows. I think it was last week. But anyway, uh, I had about 30 minutes and this is what I had wanted to do that day when I did the alpacas and um Hi, Prisma. Good to see you. Hi, Caroline. Good, good, good to have you, Caroline. First time here. It was my, this past Monday, Pacola. Oh my gosh. See? Oh my gosh. So it was on Monday. So the last 30 minutes, I sketched out this lionfish and just started inking it with um, a brush. And um, you know, I use these little stone things, uh, soapstone things, and a brush. And I inked all, all the heavy inking you see, all the dark heavy inking. That was all done with that. Now I'm going back in with for detail. And um, so with the detail, I'm using just a Sharpie pen. It's not a Sharpie marker, Sharpie pen. And that's how I did all this, um, all this little cross hatching bits down here. For all the dots and some of the... Um, some of the medium lines and fixing some lines. I'm using the Faber-Castell brush pen. Okay, use that. So I'm using this one. For the thin, thin lines, I've got a Microperm 0.03 Sakura uh, from Jet Pens. Okay, these I got just, you can get these anywhere. Um, Michael's Office Supply, Faber-Castell brush pens, and uh, Sharpie pens this i got uh jet pens uh, most of my pens i got at jet pens so if you want to know where to get all kinds of brush pens where to get all kinds of inking pens janet <laughs> me and janet i tell you uh yeah we love our jet pens <laughs> i get those that i get that at jet pens 
All right, so let's put that back in my cubby here. I did clean out my, um, let's see if I can get that back in there. I did clean out my uh, pen case over here. Let me get that back in. So if you all want to see what's in my what's in my pin case video, I can do that. And then anything I need to touch up, I just have my white Posca. Uh, I added a little bit of extra highlight in the eye or anything that I got a little smudge of ink somewhere. You can correct it like with that. So that's what I've been using. I'm getting my ink and a stone today. This should be interesting. <laughs> oh, good, Eileen. I, I love I love inking and drawing it and inking it but i don't do it enough the the only time i really get serious about it is in inktober and i've done that for three years so once a year for a month i ink every day for 31 days in october so i do dedicate one month a year to inking <laughs> Okay, so anyway, so I started doing the shading here, and that's what I need to do now. So I'm going to go ahead and get back to, um, I'm going to go back to my Sharpie. Oh, the other thing, oh, that was the other thing I did with the, with the brush pen. The other thing I'm doing with the brush pen is these dots. The, these little fins back here, they have like some kind of little, I'm not sure what it is. I should research my lionfish more. But all these back fins have these little dots in them. And then I, I'm going back in here. I don't know if you'll be able to see. So this is kind of what it starts out as. And then can you see the detail in that? See all those thin lines? So it gets more detail. Uh, and same thing for this one back here. So this one needs thin. I better do that with the thin. So I'm doing all these thinner lines on these fins back here. Make sure I stay in here. And this is big. Um, I did cut it down just a little bit. I did trim down this paper. It was, I think it was 20 by 30. And these are, this is um, Bristol that I get from a printer friend. That's like, I can get cast offs and cut backs and, you know, cut offs and things like that from uh, the print shop. And if you have a print shop in your town, uh, oh, look, let's let's put the cat back on here. If you have a print shop in your town, go ask them if they have um, uh, cut, cast, I don't want to call them cast, cut, cut offs, you know, things that are off of projects that they've done. And sometimes they'll donate them to school. Sometimes they'll just give them to you, you know, but it doesn't hurt to ask. Go ask about it and see if you can get some, um, you know, uh, what they don't need anymore. This is nice Bristol. And um, so I'm just, uh, and it's big. I think it's, like I said, I think it was, uh, I'll measure it in a minute. And then I cut it down a couple inches around so that it's not so big because I'm going to paint it. I'm going to paint the background black, but I'm going to use acrylic paint. And not that I don't mind using my ink, which is this, to paint it with. It's just that uh, if I paint it with acrylic paint, I can pencil over the around glows. I can glow around the bubbles. You know? Hi, Elena. 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 Okay, so there's a star to that. So let me measure. Let me get my... Okay, so the original paper is... Let me get my 18 inch ruler here. It's 29, it's right at 29 uh, long and 18, 19, probably about 20, 21 tall. But I cut this down. So I cut it down to 18, 20, 27. 18 by 27 is what I cut it down to. 18 by, but you know, if if I photograph it and make a, you know, a, a, a print out of it or something, then, you know, I can do make it whatever I want, right? Because it's, you know, all right. So anyway, it's sitting on top. It's sitting on top of other papers, say. Okay, so I think that um, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more shading on the body of the fish. 
and then I'm going to, you're going to see me uh, paint the background. So going to watch paint dry. <laughs> okay, so what I want to do is he's going to be shaded. He's going to be shaded. I'm just going to kind of make some marks where he's going to be shaded. Let me shade it halfway down by, I might, this, I might need to get out another Sharpie pen. I like them not new. If they're not new, you can get better, um, like, scumbling, cross-hatching details. When they're brand new, then you got dark lines. Okay, let's see. But I might have to get a new one here. So I'm just going to kind of note where I'm going to shade. I'm going to shade all along the bottom of his body here. Okay? And you can't see that, I know. <laughs> and then I'm going to shade at the top. I'm going to do just a little bit of shading across the top so that he looks, you know, like this. So. And this is just, just so I can indicate where I'm going to shade. Not that picky. I know. I, I, it's terrible, right? <laughs> but I can see it myself. I can see where the... It's very thin. It's a Sharpie pen. Okay, maybe I'll, let's see. Let's try to, I might zoom in while I'm doing this part. How are we doing there? It's going gonna, it's gonna to make me look like I have a nice tan. But, uh, let's see. I'll have to change it again when we back out. Okay. Um, hi, Marianne. I know I'm missing people. Hi, Katrina. Okay, so I'm going to start, I'll start over here by his face. And, um, well, I'll try to hold my pen back so you can see. Um, okay, so I think this one's about, about done. I don't even know if you can see it this close. Okay, so let me, let me get another pen. <clears throat> Hang on. I got tons of these somewhere. Where are the be? <clears throat> There's a test over there. Okay. So it is, it's kind of like everything else. It takes time to, you know, like we did our coloring the other day. It takes time to, um, and I can't really say exactly what kind of stroke I'm doing. I'm kind of cross hatching, a little scribbling in the darker areas. You can kind of see this down here. No, I never use liquid pencil, Eileen. I've seen it. I've seen people use it and talk about it, but I don't know. Never tried it. Um, I've used. Um, I've got pencils that are water soluble, where I've wet the water soluble graphite to shade, but not the the kind that you buy that is a actual liquid. I have. I don't think so. I don't think I have. Mm -mm. Janet goes, only you, Eileen. Is she making you buy it, Janet? Is she making you buy that now? <laughs> Eileen, our enabler elf, that's what we call her. And she and Janet do a lot of shows together where uh, Eileen is in chat and she has she tells like she tells Janet what to do. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and uh, it's it's a lot of fun. They they are a lot of fun. They are a hoot together. Hoot nanny. And don't forget, Janet is uh, hosting a um, and made it made it and hosting a scavenger hunt where you can um, gather. I think it's seventy things, seventy seventy five, something like that. In, in your, uh, it can be a composition book, it can be whatever. And um, then you collect all of it. And once you get all 70 things, you email Janet and she will put you in a drawing. 
she'll put you in a drawing for um uh to win something Dee, Dee, are you pressing no i'm skimming i'm skimming deb yeah i am skimming that's a good question no i'm look how far back i could hold the pin back here and do it you know so yeah i'm and i am kind of holding it back so my hands out of the way no i'm i'm skimming and uh, I'm kind of doing a cross hatch, kind of like, you know, back and forth over it, and then a little bit of scribble too. Um, yeah, put it in caps if you all ask me anything. And I, I keep glancing over at my computer, at my laptop. <clears throat> but I do have to look at the project, you know. I do have to look over here too. <laughs> And if y'all missed at the beginning, I did go through, Lynn sent me uh, duplicate copies of abandoned places and abandoned castles. So now uh, we can always do before and afters whenever we work in our um, altered books. So yeah, that's, I did a flip through of, a, of abandoned, um, of abandoned places. We'll have to, we'll do, we'll, we get around to all the projects, you know, um, that's why I wanted to do my um, catch up videos, art book and color book catch ups so that I can catch up off camera or off off of live, I should say. Hi, Teresa from the frozen tundra. And then up here where I just want a little bit of shadow, it's just a little bit of a little bit of sketchy bits just kind of to make it look like it's going into lighter, lighter areas, right? Kind of like that. So I'm going to work on this part for just a little bit, and then I'm going to paint the background black. A rest. If only you can see the bubbles. See, I've I've drawn in bubbles all over it. <clears throat> I don't want this too perfect. Down here, I did real determined um cross hatching on here a little bit more it's a little bit more obvious cross hatching because i didn't want it to look exactly like this i i wanted to look a little different this is a little bit more scumbly although i am still cross hatching but it's not neat cross hatching it's not this neat can you see that right there it's not that neat it's a little bit more messy cross hatching and, and a little bit of scribble too Hi, Dot. Hi, Joycey. Hi, Deb. Anybody else popping in? I miss. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for all the likes already. We already have a over 100 people. Fridays are usually the least busy because it's impromptu. I call them impromptu Fridays because I stream every Monday and Wednesday at 9 a.m. Eastern, but occasional Fridays. And this is one of those occasional Fridays. So, yeah. <clears throat> Maybe a little dotting in there, a little, do a little pointillism. I, 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 I used to do some pointillism years ago. Oh my gosh, drove me crazy. It's too, too, you have to do it too exact. I don't want to do it exact. I like a little dotting here and there just to like extend the messiness of it, but I don't want to do a lot of dotting. I like edges to have some dots because it looks, it makes it look a little less perfect. But I don't want it to be, I don't want to do all uh, pointillism. No, 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 no. <laughs> so does anybody have any weekend plans? Anybody else, you know, got any particular projects they're working on? I kind of just look over the whole thing where something needs to be done. Cold there, Annie Rowe. I forgot where you were, Annie Rowe. 
Susie is coloring and some filming. Cooking chili. Ooh, Suze, that sounds good. Yeah, it's supposed to get cold again here in the ATL, Suze. I think, didn't they say they're just going like down in the 20s this weekend or something? After that last rain came through. Gonna be a little chilly, Willie. A little chilly. Oh, that'll be fun, Painty Girl, visiting the grandbabies and working on greeting cards. Bye, Arlene. Thanks for stopping in. And this is kind of, you know, but I like people to see how long things take. Uh, and plus, I just like chatting. You know, it is a chat show. It is a chat show. We chat. We talk. <laughs> Teresa, last eight pages of the scavenger hunt and making stew. Dang, Teresa, you've already got, oh, oh you've already got 60 things found in your scavenger hunt? That's so All right, when, Mark, when are you going to do another show? I haven't, I, I got one from Fe, you, that you uh, messaged me that Faith, I didn't get to make it. I didn't get to make that live show. I know Mark tries to do one, one or two a month. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and do around his eye here. His eye sunk in, so there's going to be shadow around his eye. Julie, work, daily sketches, finish taking and posting scavenger hunt pics, and tomorrow is Brad's birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Brad. Happy birthday. Caroline helping backstage at the theater. Oh, what the, what the show or what do you what production are you working on, Caroline? Mary, you want to say tell us? I don't need anything. Well, yeah. Um, most people are pretty polite, Marianne. Uh, Pat says starting book of. Oh, you're starting the S. Are you doing S, Pat? The the uh, the J.J. Abrams uh, puzzle. Janet and I want to do that. We we did uh, dubious documents. Uh, I kind of still get with Scoobs. Dang, I just remembered. Um, is that yes? Oh my gosh, me and Janet want to do that too. The the hard part for me in doing that book is so tiny. All the annotations in the on the margins, the annotations are so tiny. I have to uh, actually practically read the book with a magnifying glass. And yeah, uh, that, that's not really fun. But, you know, you got annotations in a book. They're going to be tiny. And it's so funny because I write tiny. I write tiny. My own annotations are very tiny. <laughs> but I can't read. I can't read those tiny annotations. Um Mr. Bean is working on family reunion scavenger hunt in July. Are you you hosting a scavenger hunt, Mr. Bean? Oh, that's right. It is your birthday week. Who else's birthday is it? It's also Sharon L. Sharon L's birthday is Saturday, I think. No, wait. What day is it? 25? 26? Yeah, no, Sunday. I think Sharon L's birthday is Sunday. Bye, Deb. Hi, Pat. I've had to pull all items out and put page numbers on them. On you mean on the scav? Are we talking about the scavenger hunt? And I didn't also didn't see the theater production. I try to look at it all, but I just would sit here and read the whole chat the whole time. Uh, art pieces waiting on dubious document from Amazon. Linda is new to coloring, trying out some new supplies. What new supplies are you trying out, Linda? Hi, Becca. And if you're if you've never been to one of the live shows, guys, try to make it to the live show so you can interact and chat with everybody that's here. Everybody's really friendly, really nice, drama free as much as possible. I mean, we do have our trolls; they get kicked, so we, we keep it pretty drama free here, and uh, just chit chat about projects, what people were doing, you know, things going on. So yeah, feel free to come to a live show, even if you lurk. Obviously, we have more lurkers than we do chatter, so you can still come lurk. Feel free to lurk. I lurk at other people's shows. 
So yeah, happy birthday, Suze. I'm going to celebrate mine. You know, we always go to downtown uh, Atlanta, go to the Varsity, go to Blick, go to the museum. But I'm not doing that on Super Bowl weekend. <laughs> My birthday falls on Super Bowl weekend, and Super Bowl is being held in Atlanta. And uh, yeah, I'm, it's not happening. <laughs> it's not happening. Uh, what do I think about what, Marianne? What do I think about what? Hi, Judy. Happy early birthday, Suze. <clears throat> okay, so get this eyeball set back a little bit in his little, little bitty head. I like that. And it needs a little bit more. I think. I know, right, Suze? No, don't want to get on downtown Atlanta in the Super Bowl. Found some bees on honeycomb that I can use in my scavenger hunt. Oh, okay. Ian, Star Wars trailer at Super Bowl rugby game. Yeah, y'all, y'all, you, you have, uh, you go to rugby. Uh, do you go to the matches, uh, Ian, or do you mean you watch them on, on uh, the telly? Star Wars trailer at Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. Okay, just read that. Um. <clears throat> if y'all if y'all have uh, Instagram accounts where you post your work, I'll put your Instagram name in there. You can't post direct links if you're not a mod, but you can post the name of your Instagram. And uh, and most people, I will follow almost every, anybody on Instagram. Um I don't follow everybody on Facebook and I'm picky a little more. I'm not real picky on Twitter. I'm more picky on Facebook and I'm less there. I'm less on Facebook than anywhere else. Um, I am on Twitter and Instagram every day. So if you follow me on Instagram, Inky Well, I N K I W E L L, or just put in DD Willingham, you'll find me. Um, I pretty much, unless you have a private account, if you have a private account, if I know you from here, I'll follow you. But if you have a private account and I don't know who you are, I won't follow a private account unless I know who you are. If you're here and I know who you are and you have a private Instagram and you follow me, I will follow you back because I, I know you from here. But otherwise, uh, I won't follow back private accounts. Um. I've been working on two years. Having a museum in Kansas, I made 80 of your fodders. Oh, my gosh. Yes, I'm in Atlanta, Linda. Hi, Canvas and Color. Um, if you want to talk to me, I just looked up and saw you talk to me, but put it in caps. Otherwise, I could vary. I mean, I, I miss a lot of the in caps, too. <clears throat> yeah, if you uh, follow me, Leah, I think I, I follow you, Leah. Um, yeah, y'all put go ahead and tell each other your Instagram names. And so if you, anybody wants to follow each other, grab write them down real quick. Or you can always go back and uh, go back to the uh, chat recording. I do that, guys. I do. I don't. I don't. I don't always watch every moment, every minute. I don't go back and watch every minute of every show, but I do try to scan it and see if I've missed people or there's new people here that I don't follow on YouTube. I'll go find you. Um, so I do try to follow people that are here on YouTube, even smaller channels. If you have something that's now, if you just uh, if you just post. Um, likes and you don't post any content then i probably won't follow you but if you post any kind of content 
and have more than, you know, five videos, I'll probably follow you. <laughs> um, no, uh, Canvas and color. I, I don't follow everybody on uh, Facebook. Here's the thing about my Facebook. My All my art is public. All my art is public on Facebook. Anybody can just go to my uh, photos and then to my albums and go um, – that you can see all my art. I have it broken up in folders, fan art, portrait art, pet art, uh, the gold rush guys. Um, what else do I have in there? Anyway, I have all my folders. There's probably about 10 different art folders, maybe more albums. I think they're called albums. They're called on Facebook. And uh, you can go see all my art. Um, I don't just follow anybody on Facebook. It's too much drama over there. Uh, yeah. So don't if you if you do follow me on Facebook, anybody, and I haven't followed you back, don't be offended. Uh, I go make sure everybody I follow I have screened, and I don't mean that in a bad way. <laughs> I just don't follow everybody on Facebook. Too much drama. Uh, yeah. And so, uh, but you can see all my art. All my art is public. So yeah. I'll probably, I would more than likely follow you on Twitter and probably more uh, on Instagram than anywhere else. Because for me, being on, being online is more about um, the art, the art sharing uh, that for as far as social media, if you want to call it, you know, interacting with other people. For me, the biggest part of it is art. Sharing art, talking art, going to art channels, watching YouTube art channels. For me, it's about the art. I do, um, you know, post some, you know, other things, controversial things every now and then. But I keep it, try my best to keep it to a minimum. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but Facebook, I have left almost all Facebook groups. Uh, there's a couple color book groups I'm still in. And no offense to anybody. I, for some, I just didn't have time. I don't have time to be in 50 groups on Facebook because I don't ever get over to it. I, I even left like, I think I left Jasmine's. I've left, I think Kirby, I um, mean, um, uh, what do you call it? It's, um, Bennett Klein. I'm still in Bennett Klein's, I think. But I just don't, I don't post. I feel bad being in groups that I don't participate in. You know, I don't participate in them. I don't want to just go in there and post a piece of art every now and then and not be, you know, interactive with everybody else's posting things. That just doesn't seem right. You know? Oh, thanks, Charlie. Furloughed from government employees, something good. I am not Charlie. I am Charlie's mom. Well, welcome, Charlie's mom. Do you want us to call you Charlie's mom? <laughs> That's cute, though. I like that. I won't remember it next time if you come back as Charlie. Uh, you know, I'll probably, I'll try to, but yeah, Charlie's mom. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, my gosh. Well, welcome. Glad to have you. <laughs> okay. I didn't know. Uh, yeah, I didn't know you were Charlie's mom. All right. So I'm still just, I'm going to work. I'm probably going to just work a little bit more down the side of this fish. And then I'm going to paint the background. Then y'all can sit here and watch paint dry. Yay. <laughs> We don't mind that. I mean, if you're watching the video, if you're watching the recording, just fast forward to whatever you want to see. But this is one of those impromptu Fridays, chill for me, chat with everybody, you know, work on finishing up things. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, thanks. Thanks, Canvas and Color. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm imagining him to kind of have a little bit of a dent right here. Like he's a little, he's a little, um, he's kind of like this. Well, he'd be the other way, but he's got kind of a dent in him here. So this is going to be a little heavier and it's going to thin out. See, it's kind of thinner down here. It's going to thin out a little bit down here. And then probably in here, it's going to have, in here, it's going to have another bend. So it's going to have a thicker shadow there because I'm kind of imagining, you know, he's swimming. Um, oh, Penny. Okay, Charlie. Okay, let me write that down. All right, I'll try to. If I write it down, I'll be more apt to remember. Okay, Charlie equals Charlie's mom equals Penny. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, you just sketch. Yes, I did. I, I sketched it on Monday, according to Bacola, who keeps me on track. <laughs> I, I totally forgot when I sketched it. I really did. I do so much art all and I switch from project to project. So like off camera, I added, you know, some of this down here. So I did that day before. Let's see. Today's Friday. So I did some of that Friday, Wednesday night. But then I sketched and drew it on Monday. So I'm always working on different projects, <clears throat> switching them out. And so it's hard for me to remember, even though I've recorded. What day did I do this on? What day did I do that on? Because I just do so much. And then I'm watching other YouTubers while I'm working, which makes it even more. Um, uh, I forget even more <laughs> what things I'm working on. Oh, Sean. Okay. Canvas and color is Sean. Canvas and color. And you must be in the UK. You spell color with a U. Am I right? Or somewhere um, somewhere across the pond? C-O-L-O-U-R. Hi, great. All right. So... So, yeah, um, I told Melody I'm going to get some, she's, she PayPal'd me some birthday money, and I'm going to get um, some Copic refills for the uh, skin colors because I want to do uh, more in, like, Serene, Momo Girl. Oh, well, no, I can't do the Momo Girl. Serene, what's the other one? There's another one or two books that are one-sided that I want to do more uh, marker in. Um, and I'm my skin colors are running out. So I'm going to buy some refills. I'll just go to, uh, uh, I'll probably just go to jet pens. I can get refills on jet pens. And also guys, if you want skin tone, uh, chow, uh, uh, Copics, you can get them at Michael's and use your 40% off coupon on the sets. That's how I'd recommend getting um, a set of skin tones. I think they have two different ones, a lighter and a darker. And you can get them at Michael's. They keep them behind the counter. So sometimes it, you don't think about that they have. Um, oh, I took that too, too far. Got to chatting. I didn't want that up that dark. Okay. I might have to lighten that out. So, uh, <laughs> um, uh, yeah. And. Um, Melody also sent me that for my birthday. I haven't got it yet. She sent me Mysteria. Is that the one? Is that the new one with uh, by uh, I think that's the name of the new one by the Russian artist lady that I have her other two books. I said I have to make a couple of coats on this because I want this lighter. Uh, two, it'll probably take two coats to cover up that ink. So just I want to drag that down a little. I don't want that. I didn't want that dark. I kind of wanted to start going this way. And I started going up there because I wasn't paying attention. So we'll fix that. Um, yeah, Anastasia. That's her name. Anastasia Cordoriva. <laughs> Anastasia Ellie Cordoriva. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm going to, uh, I'll work in that one with, um, Copic uh, and the skin tones. So, yeah, I got plans, guys. We got plans. <laughs> and then we do rabbit trails like this every now and then. I I do have a lot of plans. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, my books are full of plans. But, you know, I, and I can't do everything here on camera because, like, my monk's mail, that's all off camera. All my monk's mail storytelling until that's one thing I really can't do here because it's too um, it's too here and there. Uh, and plus, you know, it's going to be a story. I don't want it, you know, short stories. I don't want it to be. Um, I don't want the short stories to be told yet. So I'm working on that. <clears throat> I've been told polys and holy pencils don't work well in the book. 
Oh, well, that's good to know. Yeah, you have to test all your supplies. You have to test them all. Okay, is that dry? And who I, who was it that said that they're working on theater production? I, I didn't see the answer to that question yet either as to what, what theater production they're doing. Annie's um, parent in law, uh, parent in laws, <laughs> mother and father in law are in theater, and uh, he. Well, I don't like to name drop. They're in theater. They're in a lot of things. Um, so it just interested me as to what theater production. It's smooth cardstock with light, slight tooth, not much. Well, it'd probably be good for markers then. Jack and the Beanstalk. It's pantomime. Oh. Oh, Caroline. Oh, where is it? Where, where, where is it going to be? At least you can say the city or the state. Do you know that the Daphne's diary? Yes, I do know Daphne, Daphne's diary. I have, I, I didn't buy the new one. I just looked at it the other day. I looked at Daphne's diary the other day. Um, Leah. So I know of the magazine. I did not buy the latest issue. I flipped through and said, you know, I got so much flow materials, you know, the flow magazine and the flow paper books and all that, that I passed on Daphne's diary this time. What are my skin tones for Copics? I mean, my ideal combination. There is no ideal combination. Depends on this. I don't have an ideal combination. I just use whatever light or dark. So I do all kinds of skin tones. I do light, dark, medium. Yeah, I do all kinds. Uh, the magazine I did, is it in here? What's that magazine? I did buy, oh, okay, hang on, it's in the other room. Let me go get it. And I need to get something to drink, too. I did buy the new issue of High Fructose. This is like... Um, you know, and if you don't like, there, there'll be some naked people in there. But uh, just saying, um, this is very like cutting edge art, high fructose. Uh, I, I like to watch, I like to keep up on just all different kinds of art. I'll, wa I'll look at any kind of art books, you know. Um, oh, no, Melody, I was just saying that with the birthday money you sent me, and then I told them that I'm going to get some more refills for my Copic and uh, and or some new Copic chows at Michael's. And I'm going to get some new Prisma colors. And then I'm also, you're sending me the uh, uh, new color book. I was talking about that. <coughs> now, I don't, coloring, coloring Haven, isn't that the one that comes out every, is it every month? I've never bought one canvas and color. I've never bought one, but I think, is that the ones that come out every month or something at the bookstores? Like, I think there was a dragon one last month. Am I thinking of the right, is that coloring he heaven? Yes, my Mysteria. Yes, Melody, that's the one. We were just talking about it. Linda, my new supplies are kanji markers, everyday essential color pencils, coloring books I got. Why girl and Ivy and Inky. Well, you got a lot of good stuff. You're scared to start the butterfly? Fear not, Linda. If you are literally though, if you are afraid to start in your new um, color books, if you're afraid to start in and make a copy of the one you want to, the page you want to start in, and uh, do a test, do a practice. Last month, yes. Okay, so I do know. Then yes, I have seen it in the stores. I've I've not bought them, uh, color in uh, canvas and color because I have so much, I have so much to color in, and um, you know I just don't. I just haven't bought magazines to color in. But I know now what you're talking about. <clears throat> Hi, Dev. Deb just did a new video. Um, I started I started to be there 
and then had uh, I think Hubster came home and wanted something to eat. So I have to go back and watch devs. Uh, just found another place to buy supplies. Macari Watch. Macari. Oh, Macar Macari? Macari? Watch your wallets, though. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry, guys. I didn't do a little bit. Of, it, it's Friday. I'm going to be doing chatting. So, you know, do, just... Uh, if you're watching the recording, just fast forward. Don't email me. It is a chat show. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I am trying to do a little bit of work while I'm chatting with you guys. But, you know, that for me, part of the fun is hanging out with you guys. It's hanging out, chatting interacting, asking y'all what you're doing, what you're working on, you know, that's, and I can do, I can, I can do both, but I do have to uh, stop inking when I'm reading. But I can talk and work. I don't have any new stories today. I'd have to think up something. Yeah. Okay, so this is going up, and then it's going to come back down about right there. Kind of whooshing. Yeah. I saw, I think, Kathy Berg. She was getting her some new, and, and Eileen, too. I saw them talking on, I think the two of them were talking on Twitter about getting their ink and ink stones. I just like, if I'm going to use liquid ink, where I'm going to use a brush, there's a brush, I don't know what a brush is, but if I'm using a brush to ink, I just pour it in the little stone, and then what I, what you can do is you you can roll your ink so nice, you can roll your ink and get nice sharp points, and you just, I just like using, I just like using those soapstone dishes. Jam, I'm sharing today showing her. Radio, you mean rapidograph or radiograph, Pacola? Or she, are you talking about spirograph, radiograph, or rapidograph? <laughs> I'm sure it's one of those three. <laughs> I'm sure it's one of those three. Which one is it? Because <laughs> you know, we all do typos, so I'm not sure which one the pen, the, ra the rapidograph pens. Yeah, we used to, I have to used, to, used to have to use those when I did, um. When I worked for the cross stitch company, I never liked to cross stitch. I just didn't enjoy. I don't like sewing, so you know. But I I designed for a cross stitch company, and that's the kind of pins we use. We use a rapidograph. <clears throat> if that's uh, hi, Candy. Did I, yeah, I said hi to you. Oh, she got a new one. She got a new rapidograph. Yeah, these. Uh, let me see what's my book. Another rabbit trail. Here's two of them. These are the two I keep on hand. But I used to work for this company, Cross My Heart, Cross Stitch Company. This is from 1988. This one's from 1987. <laughs> and um, the, we did not have, I mean, now I'm sure any kind of cross stitch needlework art books are done on, um, are done on computer. Back in this day, we hand drew um, there, the cats here, right there. She's right there on my table, bathing. Um, <laughs> but back in this day, we this is all hand done. This is all hand done on. It's probably about a thirty by forty, maybe clay coated paper, all done with the rapidographs. Every one of these little symbols is hand drawn. That's all hand drawn. Every one of those little dots, dashes, triangles, it's all hand drawn with rapidograph pins. Kohenor rapidograph pins. <laughs> um, this one right here, I designed them all. <clears throat> this book right here. 
cross stitch designs adapted from original artwork by Dee Dee Willingham. This book right here is all my designs. Now I did not ink every one of these, but I designed all these animals. Um, I'll show you the picture in the middle. These are the finished, uh, this is the needlework, the cross stitch. This is the cross stitch finished. So this is what my original artwork looks like in cross stitch. And um, the owner of the company was very particular about having high detail. Well, it's not going to focus any more than that. Having high detail in her in her books. And uh, so, yeah, designed uh, two cheetahs, an eagle, a polar bear, a hawk, the swans, the puffins, the wolf, the cougar. Where's Terry? Where's Terry Travel? The cougar. I think that, I don't know if that's all of them in here. Um, yeah, that's, there they all are there. And this was called Endangered Species. And this book won the top book in the cross-stitch industry in 1988. So, yeah, it was a, it was a proud moment. Uh, did, did you see Secret Symbolism in the art I showed? Yeah, I saw, I started watching the show, Deb. I watched about five minutes of the live show. And then Hubster came home and wanted something to eat. So I, I have to go back and watch it. So I only watch, I, I know of the book. I know of the book from your very beginning of your uh, show, Deb. And then this one is a combination of me and others working in this one. Um, as far as in what we would do is we would use Prismacolor, Prismacolor pencils to sketch on graph paper. We would draw these out on graph paper, our, our, our designs. And like, you know, let's just say you have a piece of graph paper, but it's big. I mean, it's like tissue thin, big, huge sheets of graph paper. And um, you, you're told a size, you know, different sizes. And we knew, you know, how, what sizes that these were finished pieces would be. And you would use uh, Prismacolor, color pencils, and you would, you would draw them. You draw these and color them all in color pencil, right? And then from there, me and a couple other artists would go and Hand draw, hand draw these with your rapid graph. Now we they were bigger than this. The squares were um, I think two inches. This is one inch squares, but we would be drawing them on one inch. I mean two inch squares. So with our rapid graph pens, we would have two inch squares to put all these symbols in. And of course, if you cross stitch, you know that every symbol, every symbol is a different color. So me and the other artist would take the pencil drawings, the color pencil drawings, and redo them using codes. So you would look at, and you and we all had uh, the DMZ, DMZ floss. We had the full spectrum, and they were in books, right? We had the full spectrum of floss colors, so we could, as closely as possible, match our threads with the color pencil. And then we would hand draw every one of these symbols in ink. That's all done in ink. The red, at the time, the reason you would do it in red is so people could not duplicate it at the time. This was back in the 80s, remember? So the, the red we had acetate overlays. So we'd have an acetate overlay on top of our original black, and those would be done in red. It didn't mean red thread. It just meant that it was a, it was a way to protect the art from being copied at the time. Now, now, you know, that's neither here nor there, but, um, because we none of this was done digitally. None of this was on computers. We didn't have, none of us had computers. I mean, I think, um, I don't know, maybe, I, no, I don't know. Everything went to the printer. We, we would roll up the huge pieces of uh, acetate and clay-coated paper, and it would go to the printer. And then the printer reduced it down to one-inch scale, right? One-inch scale versus uh, the two-inch that we started with. Does that make sense? I don't know if that display doesn't interest me. Now, they probably are computerized now. 
This was back in 1987, 1988. We did it all by hand, people. It was all done by hand. <laughs> um, so, yeah, all done by hand. And then, then we'd send it out to stitchers. Um, they had stitchers on on contract that would go and stitch, stitch the projects, and they're quick too. They could stitch. They could stitch one of those probably in a weekend or three days. Hi, G. And uh, stitch it, on, and usually on linen. We did a lot of stitching on linen. And uh, I don't remember the no name of the um, the number. I don't remember the numbers of the cloths um, that we would use. It's been, you know, it's been, what, 30, 30 years? <laughs> it's been 30 years. No, 40? No, is it, it's 88, 98, 2008, eight, no, 30 years. Yeah, 30 years. <laughs> Dang, I was going to say, has it been 40 years since I worked there? No, it's been 30 years. <laughs> oh, hi, Jean. Oh, that's okay. It's all right. Good to have you here, Jean. How's, how's your weather? Don't get out there, sassy pants, and fall down somewhere out on that ice cold, you know, tundra of, of Canada that you live in. I need to, Jean, how far do you live from Oak Island? <laughs> And I don't like to fly, so it's probably never going to happen. But uh, how far are you from Oak Island, Jean? <laughs> Jean's way up there by Oak Island, if y'all watch the show. Sunny today and breezy, so clearing up some. Okay, okay. It's gonna. It's getting cold here. We're going to be, I think over the weekend, it's supposed to be down in the 20s or something. It's supposed to be really, really cold here. <clears throat> so yeah but anyway it was uh it was an it was an experience working there a lot of uh got a lot of uh, prismacolor pencil experience i don't have any of the original drawings i don't even know if they kept them after they you know after we used the the sketches that were on graph paper after we used them to uh ink the the square, you know, ink the uh, symbols, then I don't even know if we ever kept them. I don't know. It's freezing in UK. I'm about three hours from Halifax and Oak Island is off the coast there. Three hours from Halifax. Okay, Jane. And that's if you drive, right? I mean, like, what is that? 200, 200 miles? What is it? Oh, it's below freeze everything's going to start freezing again well you be careful out there Jean. we don't want to hear that you uh have fallen anywhere right don't want to hear that Jean. <clears throat> yeah i saw uh, what was i don't think i kept it but i saw it on facebook somebody posted that they don't like the cold but I thought of Eileen when I saw it. I don't, did I keep it? I don't know if I, uh, let me see if I kept that meme. Hang on. Uh, I thought I kept it to show Eileen, but, oh, I did keep it. Okay, here it is. Okay, look, let's see. I'll cover up the bottom. Oh, I got to turn down the. Got to turn down the light so you can see. This is this is for this is for. I mean, I, Eileen could have posted this. Hang on. The air hurts my. F oh, hang on. I wanted the, I wanted the bottom part to be a surprise. Okay, here we go. The air hurts my face. Why am I living where I where the air hurts my face? Why am I living where the air hurts my face? Oh. That's why, <laughs> Eileen, I thought of you in Florida. This is why I live where the air hurts my face. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I, I had to say that for Eileen, because who lives in Florida? <laughs> I know, right? 
that's your motto too, Jean? <laughs> oh my goodness. And crocodile or alligators rather, uh, roaming golf um, courses, right? <laughs> Okay, I need to get to painting. Let me get, let me finish this little edge here. I won't do the top of the fish. I won't I won't make you be succumbed to that much uh, of the same technique. It's not like I'm doing a lot of different things here. <laughs> and what is it called there now for you too, Eileen? What is your temperature? What, what what's it like down there in Boca Raton, Eileen? <clears throat> it's <laughs> Jean goes, oh poor Eileen, it's probably down to 70. <laughs> oh, what did what did Dev say about his? Is it bad weather where you are, Dev? I just saw Jean say, Oh dear Dev. Um, does he is he having bad weather too? Let me try to scroll back some. Oh, D, I couldn't open car door this morning. It was solid, frozen solid. But you know, when you take a fling at it, it didn't move, sending me backwards. And people at the bus stop, what did y'all look like? The what y'all look like? The three stooges, Deb, tumbling down in a row. <laughs> Not to make fun of anybody that got hurt. Uh, her, I hope nobody was hurt, Deb. But it can seems like a seems like a Monty Python moment <laughs> to use uh, to use your side of the pond. <laughs> the low 60s oh Eileen you must be suffering you must be suffering in those low 60s it's probably sunny right sunny right there on the beach bless your heart Eileen <laughs> Dev lives a little further down south it's colder here we can swap can we swap Dev <laughs> Um, Julie Topaz, polar vortex here, trying to get my boss to cancel our state budget meeting tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Okay, guys, I am going to back out so that we can paint. So let's go ahead and, uh, yeah. How about, let's see what that looks like. Okay, now my camera is definitely crooked here. Let's uh, straighten it out. Whoops, got to go the other way. Hang on, guys. Don't get don't get dizzy. Hang on. All right, there we go. That looks pretty good. Not that it has has to be straight because I mean the fish can be swimming any way it wants, right? Okay, so we are going to paint this. Let's see if I can get this a little adjusted. That's pretty good. Um. You can't understand Scottish people. <laughs> you mean their accent, Dev? Oh, my gosh. That's funny. Coming from a British accent person. Oh, thank you, CL. Hi, by the way. I didn't see you come in. Welcome. Um, so I hope nobody was hurt, uh, Dev. <laughs> All right. So it's coming along. I've only shaded just right under here. I still got to shade the top up here, not quite as far down. It's going to have a light section going through the middle where the light's hitting it. And then I still have to shade all these, um, these extra fins. But now here's what I have to decide. I'm going to paint the background with uh, black acrylic paint for the reason of, where's this, why is there a shadow right there? Why is there a shadow right there? Because... Um, I want to be able to put a glow around all the bubbles. Can y'all see where I drew all these bubbles everywhere? These are just the big ones. I can always put white, smaller bubbles in, but I circled out some larger bubbles, and these bubbles will be inked and shaded with ink as well. But I wanted the background black. Now, my decision is, is how do I want like a little bit of a white? You know, I don't want to go right. I don't think I want to go right up fish. I think I would lose the definition of some of these things 
but I can always go back and I'm going to leave a little tiny bit of a white space around it, it everything at beginning because I can always go back in there and paint it right up to the edge if I decide to because I am going to put white glow around the bubbles with color pencil, white pencil, you know, glow around it. And so I could also do the same thing with the fish, but I don't know yet. We're going to, I'll see. So, um, thanks guys. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Let me get some black paint. And that's the reason I'm going to use the black paint because I want to use, I want to use white pencil and the best thing for white pencil to go on top of is just black acrylic paint. So I'll put out about that much because if I put out any more, it's going to dry. I'm going to need more than this, but it's going to dry. So I'm going to need a couple brushes. I'm going to need one for tight and one for, um, you know, bigger, far away. So let's see. What do I want? Oh, let me get these scissors out of here. It's not supposed to be in there. Let's see. Mm -hmm. That'll be a good one for close. Now let me get a bigger one for larger areas. That'll probably work. All right, if I need some other ones. And I just use, you know, cheap brushes, acrylic. They're made for acrylic paint, you know, craft brushes, if you will. Uh, hi, Norma. Been working and lurking. This is Fish Beautiful. Thank you. Well, I got a lot more to go, but I don't want to make y'all sit here and watch me do the exact same thing I did here all across the top and other, you know, I've got lots of other areas to do too. These, you know, oh, let me show you this right here. Um, I, I got to do... Um, Where's my here? Is this thing I was using? So I'm going to do thinner lines coming down. This is the one that was I swapped from. Where's the one here? This is the one I'm using. Um, I want to do thinner lines all down in here. Now I know you can't see because I zoomed back out, but there's going to be all these thinner lines in here. This is just a thin. Uh, if you look at a lionfish, their their tail fins and these other fins are have all these very thin lines in them, and I'll I'll keep working, but I'm using the um, my Faber Castell pit brush to do the dots. So I'm just doing, and they are kind of they are kind of in a line, and that's kind of how I'm doing them, kind of going down a line, and they're not I'm not making them perfect little circles. I'm making them kind of dashes almost. Some are more round, some are more dashy. Uh, and I believe they're like a teal or a turquoise color. I don't, I'm not using reference anymore. I just, you know, ever, ever since I drew the fish, I'm not using reference. I'm just going at it how I want it to look now. Um, but I'm pretty sure that these dots are blue or some kind of teal. And they kind of go on the outer edge a little bit too. And so, and then they're going to have lots of lines in there. So, and more shading as well. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you, Deb. All right. So there, this is the pen that's not working. Let's throw that one away. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Got to speak English here. Uh, see, some um, I can't even pronounce that name, but you have to speak English here. You're welcome to lurk, or 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 you can translate it. <laughs> okay, so that's okay, no problem. Welcome. All right, so now what I'm going to do is um, let me wet my brushes first. Don't start with don't put your don't put your brushes in uh, acrylic paint unless you've dampened the. Uh, I was going to say fur. <laughs> um, yeah, I've done a couple of coloring book pages for the for the fibs, the friends in the box. I've done a couple just for fun. I did a Christmas one and, you know, but nothing really serious. Um, people have asked me to do color books. I have no desire to spend a year doing a color book. It takes a long time to do all those that line art for a color book. And I don't want to. And And this is just the way I am. I would want, if I was going to do a big project like that, I mean, I've got other projects that are fairly big, but if I knew everybody was waiting on me to do a color book, I would want to do that just exclusively. I'd want to work just on that and nothing else. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to work on just one thing exclusively and nothing else. So there will be, you know, there's no color book in my future. 
<laughs> yes. Uh, this is a lionfish. Yes. Okay. Did I call it something else, Jean? Okay. So again, I'm not going to stop and do all the shading up here or anything else right now. I'm going to go ahead and just paint in the background. So here's my, uh, this was what I was um, talking about. I don't know if I want... I don't know if I want it just to come right up to the edge or do I want it to actually touch? I want it very close. It could probably touch like the fish. I just don't know yet. I don't know what it's going to look like. I don't know if it's going to look like... Um, this brush may not be pointy enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a little trouble getting it nice and pointy. I'm going to have to get a different brush. I mean, it's pointy, but it, it's like it has a little bit of, um, I don't know, it's just not working. Okay, let's see. Do I have one sitting here? I had one sitting here from the other day. <clears throat> yeah, here we go. Love seeing all the different things you do. Thank you. Thanks so much, Devin. Uh, not Dev, but Devin. There we go. I think that's better. So it'll come right up to this because this is white. So it can come right up to this. But I don't want it coming right up to the black yet. I don't want to lose because it's just going to depend on how far if I... If I go right up to it, I'm going to, I think I'm going to just lose, lose that, the edge totally. I mean, I don't know yet. Um, I want to do it right up to it. We'll see. I'd rather not until I know for sure. Because I can always go back in there. I can always go back in and fill it in. And the paint is a little thicker than the, ink. well, the paint is thicker than the ink. So I have to do it like, I can't do it as flowy because there's no water in my paint. Um, I can't do it as flowy as the ink, like in one long stroke. It's got to be a little, like, kind of shorter. The paint flows but it's thicker so i gotta kind of keep going over it a couple times so i just don't know what the effect is going to be whether it's and if i get it a little too close and touch an edge i go back in there with the posca it's not a big deal i don't stress about it I want to get around some of these bubbles, though. And I'll ink those first with the template. I've already just, I've just penciled them in just to kind of, for placement purposes. I'll go back in there in a minute with the... Uh, I'm not looking at chat right now, guys. I really have to concentrate on a straight line here. I want it as close as I can. See, I don't want it to look outlined. I don't know. Oh, decisions, decisions. I don't want it to look outlined. Oh, let me think about it. You know, guys, I'm holding my breath. I don't hold my breath as much as I used to. I told y'all that story. Helps to hear me, uh, be around me when I was doing art. He's not around me that much anymore in, in here when I'm doing art, but he'd be around me and I'd, I'd be doing something very detail-oriented and I'd be sitting here and I'd be going, 
เออเออ and he go why are you moaning why are you moaning while you're arting I said I'm not moaning I'm holding my breath <laughs> I'm holding my breath and he you know it's just because you know I'd exhale and you you know you hear it go uh. <laughs> But yeah, you know, when you do some real tight things here, you just you hold your breath. I don't do it as much as I used to, but yeah. <laughs> you do it too, CL. I know, right? And it sounds like you're moaning. Okay, so now let me go ahead. I want to let me do the circles with the pen. Hang on. Oh, let me get my pit brush pen here and my template. And my poor template. I, I'm gonna or I'm gonna get some new tin. I I am gonna get some, I can't even tell you how old this thing look. I've aped it. I'm gonna get some new templates. That's just all right. Let me dry this with a heat gun. Hang on. <laughs> Or sighing. Yeah, I don't really sigh. It's just more like a moan. <laughs> we all have our different sounds. We hold our breath. Um, yes, I'm going to do a white glow with pencil. Oh, oh, around the fish. No, see, that's what I didn't want to do. Uh, but I will. Ha if I have to, I will. I didn't really want to do a glow around the fish, just around the bubbles. So... Yeah, I just don't know if I want to come, if I come right up to the edge, see, I'm going to lose, I can't, let me see if I can kind of cover that up. See, it's, it's going to lose the, I'm right here. Uh, it's going to lose the line. Uh, I don't know. I don't know yet. Bye, Margaret. Thanks for stopping in. Okay, so now I'm, let me just do, let's start with these two bubbles down here. And I have some bubbles close to the edge. I have some bubbles going off the edge. I will probably, and I probably should do that if I'm going to. I want bubbles coming off the edge in, around the whole piece. So it looks like he's floating and there's bubbles aren't just like, eh, 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 eh. so I will do more bubbles. Uh, I've got a couple coming off the edge, but... Um, Oh, this? oh, let's see. I think I better use. I'll use this. I want a little thicker than this. What are you doing, kitty cats? Get down from there. Get down from there. <clears throat> and the bubbles are going to overlap. So the line is going to go through. It's going to go through the bubble over each because they're going to be inked as translucent so they're going to have they're going to overlap like that okay so let me go ahead and let me think right here do i want how big of a window on this edge that looks pretty good I want one there and i got see i've got them all going up here Maybe just a tiny, well, a medium one coming off the edge here. So they're going to be on and off the page. Hi, Bonnie. Um, but these bigger ones like this, I just, I, I want, uh, I, do, I just want them kind of, I don't know if you can see, you'll see them here as I ink them. Um, I'm not going to have thousands of them this size. I'm going to have some that are smaller. I'm going to have some that are smaller that I can either put with white or I don't know yet. They're just going to be little, little bubbles. Okay. So you can see how they overlap each other. What? Oh, you got your, you want me to throw your little mouse, baby? I can't really play right now. They come in here. If I let them in here, then they think, oh, it's playtime in mommy's studio. <clears throat> Welcome back. You got coffee in the kettle. I'll do this as well. Thank you, Bonnie. I'm I stopped doing the shading, which is going to be up here too. I stopped doing that just because it was getting um 
I don't want to be too monotonous for you guys. <laughs> you know. There's a nice big one right there. And they're just blue lined right now, so I can just erase the pencil. So I did make uh, a, I did make an effort to put these these big bubbles exactly where I wanted them, except I haven't gone around the edge yet because I just cut it down this morning. So I had to I didn't put bubbles on the edges yet because I didn't know where I was going to cut it down. But now that I've cut it down. <clears throat> Bye, Melody. Sleep well. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Kimberly. If y'all missed the beginning of the show, I did. Um, I did a show. Um, Lynn sent duplicate copies of abandoned castles and abandoned places. So now we have two copies of those that we can. Um, have a before and after picture. So, so I did go through abandoned places. I went through abandoned places and showed before and after pictures. So that was a little rabbit trail. So if you missed that at the beginning, um, yeah, go back and watch that. Hmm. <clears throat> I hope I'm standing camera. I'm just kind of flipping around here all over the place. So happy Friday, everybody. Hope everybody's going to have a good weekend. So here's the edge right there. It's hard to tell because there's white paper underneath too. But. Still with the tour. I bet that was cool. I'll have to watch it. Yeah, Connie. And hi, by the way, Connie. Just saw you too. Yeah. I mean, because y'all know you've seen me work on the pages, but uh, I I can't ever show before and after in those two. I, I could show it in the um, Abandoned Civilization because I had two copies of that one. Now I have two copies of all Kirian's books. Did you hear that, Kirian? I hope I said, I hope I say his name right. Kieran Connolly, he's in the UK, and uh, I did send him an original page from Abandoned Castles. I actually tore one out and sent it to him, and he posted a picture, he and his publisher. I sent it care of the publisher, um, and he and his publisher posted a, pay, a picture of it, so I guess they like that we're, we help sell those books. <laughs> it's a lionfish, Patricia. And it's not it's not done. I just uh, took a break from shading him to work on um, this, the bubbles in the background. Okay, so now I'm going to do some extra bubbles along the edge. I think I've gone all the way around. So see, like I'll have one here, one here. I want maybe uh, let's see this. I want a different size here. I don't want it right on the corners though, like that. Okay, so got one there, got one here. That's good enough there. An overlapping one right in there. I don't want to detract too much from his face, so I kind of want a op more open area there. Okay, um, I think I'm, that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to leave it at that. All right, let's get back to painting. <clears throat> now that I've gone around them all. All right. I'm going to start over here behind his tail here. I want 
little jagged, see. And how jagged will I can go back with the pen and you know tighten up all this if I need to. I'll get a bigger brush in a minute. Hi, Zeely. Thanks so much. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. I actually, you'll probably get you'll probably get a print of this too, Zeely. Just saying. Okay, now, baby girl, I know you want over here. She's right here to my right now. I don't want her stepping in the paint. You know, she's already here. She comes. Now, go that away, baby girl. Go get off the get off the fish. Get off the fish. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you can lay over there. Let me move the heat gun. <laughs> All right. Yeah, lay your little head on top of the pencil case over there. Hear, hear her laying over there, miss, moving around. As long as she doesn't bump, bump my paper. She just knocked my pencil case down. Now again, I'm not. I want this to be as straight as I can hand, you know, hand draw the edges here. But it's going to have a glow around them. So even if it's not perfectly round, which I'm trying to get as you know round as I can with by hand, um, but it's going to have a glow with the pencil, um, color pencil. So it, it'll be fine. So don't anybody, don't anybody freak if it's not perfect. <laughs> She's after the fish, yeah. And she jumped down. She got my pens and my pencils, and she knocked the pencils and pens out of the pit. Oh wow, it was just uh, the electricity just kind of flashed a little. Are we still connected. We had a, I had an electricity just flash for a minute. Um. Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> okay, still connected. Okay, it wasn't much. It didn't go completely out, but it dull down, uh, uh, darkened down. Uh, she's bored with that. She's leaving now. She says, Mama won't throw toys for me, so I guess I'll leave. Okay. And um, I have another paper under this one here, so it it's fine to get it, you know, off the edge in a minute. So I'm just going to go around a couple bubbles, and then I'll do a bigger area with a bigger brush. So the reason I'm using acrylic paint is because I can uh, pencil over it nicely, just like we do in the color books. Uh, love some lionfish, been enabling that lionfish and ruby charms. Oh, yeah, yeah. I need to get back to my ruby charms journal because y'all know I um, I punched holes in and put them in a, I put both copies in a binder. I put both copies of my uh, ruby charm journals in a binder. Hi, Dorothy, uh, Dorothy B, as opposed to dot, Dorothy. <laughs> Lurking and working. Hi. Cats are lions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, thanks guys. Yeah. I, I'm actually think I'm going to make a, I don't know what size yet. I'll, well, well, let's, I, I don't want to talk about it saying, oh yeah, I'm going to make prints of this and I'm going to send prints and do blah, 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 until the project is at least done. Right. I want to make sure it's, you know, we'll see, but yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, let me go around this edge here and then I'm going to get the larger brush out. And remember now the lionfish is not done. I just stopped working on him so that you guys didn't get <clears throat> I don't want to say bored because I, I never get bored. I got I'm too busy to get bored, but uh, I don't want it to be too tedious for you. So and I'll try to show you uh, I'll do a little glow around a couple of the bubbles so you can see. Oh yeah, oh. mine will chase both. Um, Oliver, not as much. He'll bring me those plastic balls with the 
with the the uh, bell in them, and you know, and they're I, I don't know why he wants to carry those around. Malibu will never bring me one of those. She would not pick up a piece of plastic in her little dainty little teeth for nothing. She brings me, you know, soft little mice, you know, faux mice. I mean, you know, toy mice. <clears throat> oh, thanks, Connie. Oh. Okay, let me rinse out my brush. You do need to rinse your brush out every now and then because it'll crust up. The paint will start to crust up, especially if you're working on it for hours. Okay, so let's see here. Let me move my chair to pick up all my stuff off the floor. Get a bigger brush. So I got a, a bigger brush here. All right, so now I already got it damp. It's kind of like uh, when you paint a room, you have to cut in, cut in on the corners and the wall edges. You got to cut in on these bubbles. See, so I'm just going right over the edge. See, it's on to the next paper there. Right, and I don't care if it gets on the back. <clears throat> uh oh. Uh oh. Don't look at chat while you're going along an edge. There we go. I'm down to 10 cats. Oh my gosh, Blue. Uh, I think the most I've ever had is three. And all our cats live to be 10, 15. Walter was 17 or 18. Um, they all live a long time. Okay, so now I'm going to have to get around here with the brush again. I'll get kind of close. You know, I'll get kind of close, but I'll cut in with a smaller brush right along the edge of the bubbles. I'll go ahead and do the whole edge. That'll be that'll look cool. It'll, then you'll start to see how big it is. I think it's. I think I cut it down to. Uh, I told y'all earlier. Now I forgot the exact measurements. I'll just go ahead and go all the way around the edge. And then at least you'll be able to see the borders. There's going to be a bubble there. There's going to be a bubble down here. But you'll be able to see, the, you know, fairly well, see where the... where the borders are. So it's pretty big, 20-something. I think it's 20, what did I say it was? 20 by 18 by 22, I think. 18 by 22. There. Now you can see how big it is. <laughs> oh, thanks, Connie. Thank you. Okay. All right, now I'm going to hit it with the heat gun so I don't rest my uh, sleeve in it anywhere. Now let's go ahead and do a little bit more over here. Just get some of these larger areas blocked in. And I'll go in there with the smaller brush. And go around all the bubbles. So I got them drawn in. Uh, do, do your fur babies ever try and trick you for more food? All the time. My partner will get up early and feed him. And when I get up later, we'll pretend he has not been fed. Oh, yeah. We've accidentally fed them twice. We have done that. 
<laughs> for sure. And they'll eat it too. <laughs> they will eat it. Uh, yeah, they've done that. This will roll along pretty quickly, guys, once I, you know, get as much of the larger area. This blacked in here. And then, because uh, I want to do, I want to go around a couple bubbles so you see it. Okay. Let's go over here on this side. There's no water in my brush. No water in the paint. It's just straight out of the bottle, nice and thick. Nice and thick. If I was going a little slower, I could get a little closer to the edges, but because I'm like zooming through this, I don't want to get too close uh, and keep looking at chat. <laughs> so we'll just kind of get kind of close and then get the tinier edges with the br smaller brush. <clears throat> Let's see, there's going to be some there. Let's see. I there and here. That's why white Posca is your friend. Come on, guys. Let me not look at chat for a minute. I'm constantly eyeballing this over to the side here with the chat. All right. I, I still got to get on here, 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 here. And, you know, it's going to, I got a lot more to do. But I'm going to work on the bottom. So. Vivian, and thanks for stopping in. Aww, aww. The Prince picture? Yeah, the, the original picture of Prince that I sent you a little copy of, Dev, was, um, that's an original I did for my daughter. When Prince died, I did that portrait for her. She has the original. Um, my daughter has the original eight, eight and a half by, or eight by ten, I think is what I did that Prince picture in here i'll show you what i'm talking about i think that's the one you're talking about deb if you framed it in purple then i'm sure that's uh what you're talking about let me go over to my instagram guys i'll show you um i sent deb a uh just a postcard size it's small i mean i could have sent you a bigger one i guess but i wanted to send you a few little things deb for thanks for supporting the channel let's see here Come on, load up. Load up, load up. It's going to be way back here. Because it's what, two years ago? How long ago did Prince pass away? Two, three years ago, maybe? <clears throat> I don't know why it's being kind of slow along. I probably need to restart my phone. I looked for you earlier, Dee Dee, and I swear I didn't see your live stream. It came, uh, I tried to come on live. Um, I tried to come on live for the first time, and it didn't go, it wouldn't work. I didn't have a chat like like what happened on, Mon was it Monday? And then I um, cleared cash, started again, and then you guys were here. So uh, the chat was here. So it may have just, I don't know, might have messed up. So this is, uh, let me turn down the lighting so it shows up. So this is the original, well, a photograph of the original. This is what I did for my daughter, and it's probably not going to show up very well. So there, this is my prints. It's on Instagram if you want to see it. So I did a, glow, a purple glow around him. And uh, the colors are just not really showing up here, guys. You need to go look at it on Instagram. So that's the Prince drawing I did for my daughter, and I sent a I sent a copy of it to Dev because he likes the Beatles and he likes bands. And 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you're not receiving notifications, Pamela or anybody, unclick and re-click the bell. Because sometimes, and I've had to do it with people I followed for a long, long time. And all of a sudden, I'm not getting notifications. Their bell, I go back, the bell wasn't rung. Or you might have to unclick it and click it two or three times. Because sometimes you click it just once, and it says get some notifications. I forget the exact wording. But it says something like getting some notifications. And if you unclick it and click it again, it says get all notifications. So you want to do that a couple times to make sure you get all notifications. Okay, so let's go back here now. Um, did I draw it? Or no? Oh, no, I didn't finish drawing it. Hang on. I don't need to dry it up there because I'm not going to be working up there right now. I just don't want my sleeve to be um, dragging through it and messing anything up. Okay, so I think we're good. So these bubbles that overlap, they're going to be inked and they're going to have more do I want to do this right now? Probably not, but I'll show you a couple. Like they're going to have, um, like they're going to be rounded. Um, they're going to have um, like bubble shadows. I don't know. Anyway, there's going to be ink in the bubbles themselves too. <clears throat> okay, uh, internet, Jen, we'll watch it. Okay, Blue, thanks for stopping in. So let me go ahead, and again, I am leaving a little bit of a white edge around the fish, but I'm not sure if I'm going to want to do that. Like right in here, that's going to have to be filled in a little. I won't get too close here. I, I just don't know yet if I want to come right up to the fish, if I want to put a glow around the fish. After I do the bubbles, I'll be able to tell better what I want to do around the very, very edge of the fish. I just don't know yet. It's going to depend on the bubbles, I think, as to how much white or edging I leave around the fish itself. Or if I glow the fish with white pencil, I just don't know yet. I can't, I can't picture exactly what I want to do. Yeah, it's going to have uh, it's going to have um, the white pencil glow around the bubbles, but I don't know if I want the white pencil glow around the fish. I haven't decided yet, and it's going to depend on how the bubbles look. So for right now, I'm leaving a little bit of a white edge around the fish that I can always fill it in later if I want. And again, I want to get my bubbles as round as possible. I'm just freehanding. I'm not using anything here. Um, but they're going to have a glow around them. So it's, you know how you see how I do my planets. How I do planets. Maybe I should make, oh, I don't know. Do I, should I make these planets, guys? Oh, I didn't think about that. Do I want my fish in space? Do I want these to be planets? You know, kind of like, here, where's my card? Don't, don't remember when I did um, I think I did these on Monday too <laughs> uh, I did these uh, art cards and this just paint you know they're I haven't painted the backs or done anything to them but uh, how I did my uh, blood moon eclipse pictures I did these on Monday whoops upside down I did these on Monday um, maybe I should do uh, yeah maybe I should paint planets should I put my fish in space? Yeah. And do nebulization all around him? Might do that. Might do that. These planets might, I mean, these bubbles might become planets. Might become planets.
Thank you, Charlotte. What would be so cool space fish? Yeah. <laughs> I've actually, uh, in altered books, I think I put uh, fish in space. I don't know that I've ever drawn one in space. I've collaged them. Y'all see my big collages. My I've done post collage posters. And um, some of those have fish. I'm trying not to turn it too much, but I might have to turn it soon. We can put, we can make planets. I could paint in all kinds of planets, all different colors. That would be cool, right? And then throw some bucket of stars on it. Throw a bucket of stars on it, and then um, uh, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. I was imagining this all black and white. If I was going to really, like, color up the fish into colors, then, you know, because he's going to be a black and white fish amongst colorful planets. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I stayed up till midnight. I, I saw it turn at around midnight, Connie. The moon, yeah, maybe 12.30. I stayed up and watched it. I watched it on um, on my iPad. I watched the Griffith um, Observatory in Los Angeles. <gasps> See, look! Oh, my gosh. See, this is what I was worried about. Not that I got it on my shirt, but look. Oh, <laughs> no. This is what I was afraid of. Dragging my sleeve. <laughs> Hang on. Let me see if I can get some of it off my shirt so I'm not dragging it through some paint. So it's up my arm. It's in my bracelet. See? Ah, yes, my sleeve got in the paint. I like the idea of all black and white. Well, the thing, yeah, um, I don't mind doing the color, but then he's not, he's not in color. I planned him to be, let me get this off my sleeve, guys. I got a baby wipe here I'm cleaning. Um, the, the fish is not going to be in color, so I don't know if I want planets. I think I'll leave it. I think I might leave it. I don't know. Now I'm conflicted. I want both. Now I want a black and white one and a color one. Yeah, I don't know if I'm because the fish is is the actual lionfish are actually um, lionfish are ac actually orange. You know they got orange. Oh yes, yeah, so I I can paint it out. It's, yeah, it's not that big a deal, guys. It's just it's just aggravating. Yeah, I got my Posca and I got white acrylic paint. It's not a big deal. It's just, you know, I have to stop now and clean and, you know, get it all off my hands and, you know, let's make sure it's dry. And let's paint it out. You know, if I'd been more careful, we wouldn't have to take this step. All right. <laughs> now it's dry. But that's what happens when I, you know, I am chatting. <laughs> It's not a big deal, guys. I'll paint it out for real. I can use my Posca and also just white paint if it's a larger area I need to. It's no biggie. It's just aggravating that I didn't catch it. And I was being careful not to let this happen. It'll take two coats. I'm just kind of smearing it a little. I could make these all look like the moon. Overlapping moons. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Oh, good. You got it in your lip. Aw, Dev. Then they've done that with your watercolor. I know. I know. It's not a big deal, but, you know. So, all right. Now let's dry that. I'll put another coat on it in a minute. So what I'm not sure, though, is the edge of the fish yet. So let me get my brush back here. Okay. 
it's well over. Yeah, the black and white is dramatic, and I'm not even done shading. Look, this is just going here. I've just done this. I haven't done the top. I haven't done all these spikes yet. Um, I've done these right here, these big ones, but I haven't done this one. I haven't done shading in the in any of the the thin the thin fins. None of that. Bye, Dev. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you liked your your, your prints print. I'm glad you liked it. I do try to send everybody that super chats or um, uh, PayPal's me. Um, I try to send them something, you know, that month, the month that they do that in. So see, I'm leaving a white edge right now around the fish, still uncertain as to if I want to glow the fish or not. But I want to glow the couple of these. Even if these were planets, I'd still glow them. So I'll still do it here, so you, just so you can see how it's going to look. Although I haven't, I'm going to shade. See, I've got a little bit of shading right there in the bubble. I'm going to shade inside the bubbles. And where they overlap and all, they're going to be little like bubble, you know, how they have little squares, you know, in, in bubbles. Um, you took a fin fin. What do you want? Are you on something today, Connie? Are you on meds today? I don't know. <laughs> uh, just calling while I watch. Faith. Uh, oh, hi, Faith. Did I miss Faith? Faith? I don't know if it was Faithful or Faith. We've got a couple of, we have a few Faiths. <laughs> we have a couple of Faiths. <clears throat> now, again, let's be careful not to drag through here. I should just take time to dry. I fit okay, it's faithful mess. Okay, I didn't see you come in. Thanks everybody for stopping in on my impromptu Fridays. For if you're I do have a lot of people asking me when when can I come on your live show? Well, first off, ring the bell. Ring it a couple turn it off and on a couple times to make sure you get all notifications. But uh, other than that, I stream every Monday and Wednesday, 9 a.m. Eastern. And the occasional Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern. And then I've been trying to make some additional, shorter, not live, but just, you know, some videos. Um, <clears throat> uh, make, making some video content with not, not live videos, just, just recorded. <clears throat> oh, it was a diet pill a long time ago. Oh, I don't, I never, I don't think I ever took any of those. Um, what were those other ones? Um, over the counter something you could get. Um, I don't know if those, the ones you're talking about were over the counter. Um, I don't even remember. I can't even think of it over-the-counter diet pills that were popular. I think they took them off the market because they were too jittery. I don't know if there were a lot of caffeine. I don't remember. I mean, I'm talking 40 years ago, probably. <laughs> I, don't I don't remember what they were called. It wasn't called something like that. It was called something that sounded like diet or lose weight or I forgot. Okay, well, then that's not the one I'm talking about. There was an over-the-counter one. I don't remember what it was. I mean, I'm talking. What do you remember? Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so got a little close. To, again, if I get too close and mess up my line along the edge of the fish, it's not going to matter if I put a glow. And if I don't put a glow, then I'm going to go back and paint it paint it right up to the edge anyway so I'm just getting as close as I can to see what I'm going to because I'm just unsure what I want to do around the edge of the fish All right I'm just trying to keep my sleeve out of it so if I'm missing what y'all are saying in chat guys be, be patient with me here I'm trying to pay a little bit of attention. Oh, I found I did find a new channel I wanted to share with y'all. It's not an art channel. Um, I came across it was like in my um, I think I looked at some I looked at some um, video about it came up of. Uh, uh, storage, you know, like not storage wars, not the TV show. I'm making sure I'm not in any wet paint here. But it, it, so that those, those kind of started popping up in my sidebar, right? My YouTube channel, storage hunters, you know, those kind of things. All right, let me dry this guy because I need to put my arm up here and I don't want it in here. So I came across a cool, and it's in Canada, Gene. And his latest video, see, I guess he has a he has a uh, resale store. I don't know. It's uh, I, it's called Curiosity Incorporated. That's the name of his channel. That's the name of his sh shop. And he and he unboxes everything that he finds, and he puts it in his shop. Well, he the the first show that I came across of his, and I think he's got two, maybe three parts to it already. Is called I Bought a Hoarder's House. And it's in Canada. And, and he also came across, Gene, some um, in the newest video, Gene, if you watch his newest one, you'll see where he found some signed, draw. I don't know if there were portraits or drawings of some famous musician, a Canadian musician who wrote one of your Canadian songs that's real famous. Uh, the name of the, his shop is Curiosity Incorporated. That's the name of his YouTube channel, and that's the name of his shop. I don't—I forget where he is in Canada. But anyway, um, but his newest video, Gene, has those ones I wanted to tell you about because you're in Canada, you're a musician, blah, blah, blah. But the first one I came across was his, his videos called I Bought a Hoarder's House, and he's into two or three parts. Now, here's the, here's the rub about the house he bought. It hadn't been lived in in some time, and it was literally a hoarder, a hoarder's house. Uh, but she was a famous potter. He has not yet said on his channel the name of the potter. But she was a famous potter back in the 80s. I think they said she's 101 now, obviously living in a rest home or something. She's not living in the hoarder house. I don't even know how long she and her husband have moved out of that house. But the relatives... I guess he found an advertisement and he found this house and he went and he just bought the whole house. Now it's like nine or 10 hour drive, maybe eight, nine, 10 hour drive from where he lives. So he has to drive nine, 10 hours. Um, yes. He drives the ghostbuster van. Exactly. The ghostbuster ambulance. Yes. Faithful. So you've seen him. Okay, yeah. Well, I just came across him for the first time here, like in the last couple, two, three weeks, month maybe. So anyway, um, but what reminded me to tell you guys is because Jean's in Canada and because she's a musician and in this last video, uh, I don't think he found this in the hoarder house. He found it somewhere else. Um, a, a signed copy or a print or something of a famous Canadian musician in one of his places he finds things, right? Thank you, Kenneth. It's called, um, I'm pretty sure it's called Curiosity Incorporated. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. I don't have it right here in front of me. And um, he's on Instagram too. 
He's on Instagram and he's on, um, he has the, his YouTube channel. It's a pretty good size. I mean, maybe, I don't know. I'm guessing 80,000 followers, something like that. I don't remember, but it's a pretty good cha size channel. And he's done quite a few different things. He, he helped a homeless man. This was up in Canada, mind you, in the winter. I think this was about maybe, I don't know. I don't know if this was last year. Because I'm catching up on the videos now. And I don't, you know, I haven't binge watched them. And some of his, like the hoarder videos are 30, 45 minutes long. And that's not something I want to fast forward through. You know, you can fast forward through some. I want to see everything he found in these hoarder house, in this hoarder house. Uh, yes, yes, Suze, Suze. So you've watched it too. Oh, there's a link. Thanks, Jean. Jean just put it on. You subbed to him yesterday, Miss Pepsi? Oh, my gosh. Isn't that awesome? So, anyway, it is just really cool. But in his newest video, unless he put one up yesterday, Gene, this was like two, maybe a day and a half, two days ago, you would recognize who the musician was and the print. And, the, and he, he wrote some famous Canadian. I don't think he wrote your anthem, but maybe. I don't remember, Gene. He wrote some. So, anyway, he's in Canada. And... Um, so he bought this whole, he bought the whole house, lock, stock, and barrel. You've got to watch it. That's it is the name. Thanks, Adele. Yeah, Curiosity Incorporated. So if you like watching, you know, people find treasure and in a unboxing their um, in this case he houses, but he'll he's bought up smaller things and he'll take his son with him sometime. Um Bait runner, bait runner. Are you talking about my fish, G? I mean, uh, Dev? <laughs> I missed something. He's in Alberta. Oh, that is the house in Alberta, or is he in Alberta? I forget where he is. Uh, but it's like a, he has like an eight, 10 hour drive when he drives to um, the house that he bought. And he's, he's slowly been un, uh, cleaning it out. I think he has filled over seven dumpsters i mean i'm not i'm talking trailer size dumpsters of trash and he I want, i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna say what some of the stuff he's found because i want y'all to watch it and be surprised so i won't spoil it for you but he's found some good stuff and again she was a famous potter i guess in the 80s and some of her stuff's been in museums for i'm not going to tell you how much money because i want y'all to i don't want to spoil it <laughs> It is interesting, isn't it, Faithful? Yeah. Okay, thanks, Judy. Thank you. Hi, Kia. Yeah, you're not what Kale says. Oh, great, Dee. I'm not watching up YouTube vids already. <laughs> we are enablers around here. I'm not going to lie. We're going to enable you with books, videos, art supplies. We'll do it here. I'm just saying. You know, especially books and art supplies. And, you know, we I do shout out a lot of you guys and a lot of videos. Because, you know, I love YouTube. I'm just saying. I don't, you know, I watch more YouTube than TV. You know, I don't watch, well, that's not probably not saying a lot. Because I don't watch a lot of TV. But, uh. about the pansy penalty yeah i don't don't y'all don't spoil it for the people that haven't watched it don't say too much about the things he's found in the hoarder house and he's only he's only done two or three i think he's only done maybe three parts but he's dug through the house i think only in two parts and he's been going back i think once a month because it's like 10 hour drive for him guys and he's got like four kids, three, four kids, and a wife. He's a young guy. He and his wife are young. And so he owns this shop in Canada. Again, I can't remember the city where he owns the shop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, faithful. There's all kinds of rumors about things that are in the house. But um, he is cleaning it out. And yeah, it's just it's just really interesting. It's really interesting but you want to take a bath or a shower i don't take baths i take showers uh you want to take a shower after you uh after you watch it 
And here's the thing, bless his heart, he has allergies. He literally had to get a hazmat mask to start cleaning out. I mean, it's bad people. You you watch, I can't watch the hoarder shows on TV. I can't watch that show. I, I just can't. But I'm watching him. <laughs> you know? um, but it's that bad. It's literally that bad. You will never be a hoarder if you watch a hoarder show. <laughs> uh, there's no <laughs> yeah, there's no there's no anonymous about enablers anonymous, Bonnie. Yeah. Yeah, he is cutie. He's a young guy, he's real cute. And he has a lot of personality and he drives around. He has all kinds of cars. Oh, I know what I was gonna say. So in one of his shows, I can't remember if it was last winter or when it was. I, I forgot the date of it. He let, I'll tell you all this story about him, just so I have something to talk about while I'm trying to get these edges done. Because I can talk in ink and paint, but I can't read chat and paint because I, I lose the momentum. So um, anyway, he there was a homeless guy in his town in Canada. And he's it's, it's about two. Or, there's updates on him. I forget his name. I forgot the homeless guy's name. But he did a GoFundMe for him and everything. Um, this was like, it had to be like last year. So this homeless guy comes into his shop and wants to sell him. He found it in a dumpster, a Disney cell. You know what a cell is from the, from the cartoons, the actual, like the, it's kind of like a transparency type inked cell from a cartoon. I forget which one it was a Bambi or anyway, I don't remember. And he found it in the dumpster and he came in to sell it in the in his Curiosity Incorporated shop. So I think he gave him 50 bucks for it. And he and then he put it on eBay. He he does a lot of eBay selling too. He put it on eBay and I think it made three thousand dollars. Four thousand dollars. No, I think it was thirty five hundred. I think he, he sold it on eBay for thirty five hundred dollars. So he said he felt that he needed to half that money with the guy. I wish I could remember his name. I'm not thinking of it now. I'm not thinking of the homeless man's name. So he spent, I don't know, a weekend, a week driving around his town, asking other homeless people and where could he find him? And somebody said, Oh, he hangs out down by the Seven Eleven, And, um, uh, you can find him down there. And so he, he spent like a week, I think, maybe longer, looking for the homeless guy that had brought him that Disney cell print that he wanted to give him the money. So he finally found the guy. He finally found the guy. And he told him to come to the shop that he wanted to. How he did it, he goes, would you mind if I interviewed you for my YouTube channel? Can I put you on and interview you for my YouTube channel and talk about, you know, what you've gone through, how you ended up homeless and all this? And he goes, okay, I'll come. Because apparently he came in the shop, uh, not real frequently, but came in every now and then and sold, sold him some stuff. And, you know, he come in the shop every now and then. But he didn't know where he stayed or anything, right? So when he tried to go find him, it was hard to find him. So he finally found him and got him to come in. He said, oh, I got that too thick. Um, he said, he, and so he interviewed him. He interviewed him, asked him what happened. He has kids and he's, and he's actually this pretty much the same age as the guy that owns the shop. I think they're both in their like late thirties, maybe late thirties or something like that. Oh, thank you, pickle. I think they're both like in their late thirties, the homeless guy and the guy that owns the shop. I can't even remember his name right now. I, I'll, I'll know more about him as I watch more of his videos. But anyway, I did watch these videos on the homeless guy. And so he told his whole story. Okay, let me, wait, let me dry this, guys. I'm going to drag my sleeve through it again. And he said, well, the other reason that I brought you here is you remember that cell, that Disney cell you brought in and sold to me for 50 bucks? Well, I sold it and I wanted to give you half the money. 
So it ended up being, I think, he, like I said, I think he gave him sixteen, seventeen hundred dollars. And what he did is he he took him out to lunch. He took him down to the bank and got him set up with some kind of a debit card thing. I don't know what, you know, in Canada, set him up with some kind of a debit card thing. And uh, got him a bank account, got him some new clothes, got him a hotel room and uh, did all this stuff. And then and he did these updates. He goes, I, I didn't think that was enough. He goes, I wanted to do a GoFundMe. So he did a GoFundMe. I don't know how much it made, 5000 six thousand. I don't remember. You can watch the videos. There's two or three parts about the homeless guy. And, and I hate that I can't remember his name. I mean, I feel Adam. Thank you, Suze. Adam. Adam was the homeless guy's name. Thank you, Suze. So he did the, see, y'all, some of y'all be watching the same things as me. Y'all are watching the same things as me. Okay, so anyway, um, Adam, they did a GoFundMe for Adam, got money, and I'm not going to tell you what happened to Adam. I'll have Y'all have to go watch the videos. Wah, wah. <laughs> y'all have to go watch uh, Curiosity Incorporated. It'll be like something like Adam Update or something. It'll be something like that, and you'll see what happened. You can go watch it. I know, right? I know. <laughs> Tara goes, OMG. <laughs> it's is it ended well. It it ended it ended well. Okay, I'll say that. I won't I won't tell y'all. Because it's a lot of details and a lot of you know the his history and his life and everything. You know, it's just really it just gives you hope for compassion and you know, people caring about people because this guy, he he took it to a whole nother level to help Adam. Didn't he, guys? Suze, you guys that watch it, he was, he's a great guy. I know. You Yeah, y'all will, all of, you'll, you'll be following it. Curiosity Incorporated is the name of the, of his channel. It's awesome. He's an awesome guy, awesome family. I mean, who you know, anybody that drives around in a in a Ghostbusters ambulance has got to be like, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. Let me make sure this is dry. <laughs> I don't remember where I'm. So, yeah, so I'm right here on the edge of this bubble here. So how long have we been here? Two and four, two hours? We'll stay about another 15 minutes, guys. I want to do some, um, I want to do some uh, glow around these bubbles. And I'm thinking I might just outline the fish, like real bold outline with white. I mean, I'm kind of getting close to the edges here. But I think I want to outline him in white. Nice, bold Posca pen. Yeah, I'm thinking. And again, this doesn't have to be 100% perfectly circular because I'm going to go around it with the uh, pencil here in a minute. So let me do let me do one or one or two more here. And I might just do five minutes more of shading on his back. And uh, yeah, so I hope you'll enjoy just kind of doing this fish today. And if you missed the beginning of the show, if you came in late, I did, um, Lynn sent me a, a duplicate copy of Abandoned Places and Abandoned Castles because she said she wanted to see the before and after on every picture. So I did do a, a flip through of the Abandoned Places book and showed the before and after. So I showed it from the new book and I showed my copies. Thank you, Pamela. Um... Oh, I didn't see that one at Adele. See, I've just started watching him. I've only watched maybe the two or three Adam videos and the two or three Hoarder House. That's all I've watched of his channel so far. And the newest one, which is like kind of updating. He's kind of updating on his newest one. And that's where he, he found a print or a sign something or some music, actual handwritten music by a famous Canadian 
musician. And that's why I, I remembered it thinking of Jean in Canada and being a music, you know, music teacher. And, um, and that's what made me re remember to tell you guys about, about um, Curiosity Incorporated. And you can follow him on Instagram too, under the same name, young guy. Thanks. Thanks, Teresa. Okay. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to, no, you know, I'm going to do one more thing. I am going to do right along this edge here. Because I want to do this choppy fin. Let's go back over here. So, yeah, that's that's my uh, YouTube channel enabling for the, for the day. <clears throat> And I'll tighten some of this up. I I'm, I, I want it kind of choppy because that's what those fins look like on the edges. But I'll I'll uh, clean it up here after you know when I get back to it. You know, fish fins can be raggedy looking at the ends. That's what I want the, these to look like. Oh, uh, why is it called a lionfish a tiger stripes? I don't, I don't know, Prisma. I don't know. All right, let me dry this again, guys, here. I should probably let me do this one bubble here because I want this one bubble done. This will be a good one to glow around. My paintbrush is getting crusty. It's time to clean it out. The paint starts to harden around the edges. You need to clean it every now and then. Just make sure that when you clean your brush out, if you're using if you're using a paint and no water in the paint, you want to make sure that. After you rinse it out, you, you really make sure that there's not a lot of drippy water in the brush. Otherwise, you'll be getting water in, in here, on here. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. All right. All right. Let me dry that. Okay, I need to get inside. Let me get a let me get a pen here. I want to get inside of this area. Let's see, this needs to come down a little. And a little bit of it's gonna be too odd. I think I should just make this thicker. Have that white line in there. Go back to the brush pen. I don't like that that's just a little square in there. So we'll just thicken this up right there. Make it not so. There's better. Okay. I like filling in that little area. It looked too. I don't know. All right. So now I'm going to get a white pencil. Let me sharpen. Hope I didn't miss uh, too many. Um, Hope I didn't miss too many comments. I do go back and scroll back through my chat and I go, oh, I miss so-and-so and I miss seeing so-and-so. Okay, so here, this is what I have planned. I have planned to, let's, do, let's start over here. <clears throat> Put a glow around the bubbles. Now, again, I thought about doing these as planets and coloring them in. As planets like I did on these cards on my like I did the these moon you know I paint these are just all paint uh, didn't collage anything it's just all paint but how I did the um, blood moon eclipse here uh, uh, okay baby um, let's make sure there's no wet paint around here oh uh, yeah let's move back here down and make sure this paint is out of your way um, and doing planets like that, but then the fish is in black and white. 
So I think I just want it all black and white. If if anything, I would just make these black and white moons. But I think I'm going to keep them bubbles and do a separate poster with a fish in space. Um, I'll, I'll pull out my other posters. Where are they? I can show you a couple posters that I have planets on. <clears throat> so I'm just kind of want something like this. See something? Oh, I can't quite see that. See something like this around all the bubbles? That's what I want to kind of do. Is something like this. And I'll take my time, make sure they're nice round kind of swirls, but they're all going to be like that. Now, the only other thing I have to make the decision is do I want my fish outlined white? So. And I, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to go ahead and outline it. I can always paint over it if I don't like it. So see how it's got a little bit of a glow around it? I want all the bubbles to have like a glow around it. White, white glow. If it was a, a planet or something, I'd have different colors like orange or, you know, other colors. But because everything's black and white, I'm just going to put white glows and they're going to be around all of them and then i'm going to do details like inside of each bubble and they're going to overlap so there's going to be a shadow where they touch uh and all that um, okay so let me go ahead and do that real quick let me do a test here take my posca and uh let's go ahead and outline let's go ahead and outline the fish nice and I'd say a bold white line. It's not that bold. I mean, it's a 0.7, I think. Oh, maybe. It's in Japanese. So I don't know that I'll glow the fish. I'll just probably outline the fish. Got to clean that little area up right there. Now I've not shadowed anything else except really his underbelly and these fins. Yeah, let's see. I might have to put two coats if it's not going to be bright white enough. Love me some Posca. I used to use the Signo um, gel pens. It's hard to beat. It's hard to beat the the Posca. Okay, so can you see why I've outlined it? See how nice and clean that is. <clears throat> So I'm really liking this. Like I said, I plan on making, uh, uh, I don't really want to print posters. If I did make a poster out of this, it wouldn't be this big, obviously. I wouldn't make a poster this big. But like, you know, 11 by 17 or something like that. I might do that eventually. But I can at least make some postcard size or 8 by 10s or something like that. I can just print a few of those off myself. Um, I don't have a large format printer. So I can't print um, large things. So I hope everybody enjoyed hanging out here. Uh, is next, no, next week's not the first Wednesday. Is next, no, it's the week after. I have a book picked out for our monthly giveaway. Our monthly first Wednesday of the month. Uh, book giveaway and I am going to try to do some more recordings of color book oh, I keep saying color book I don't mean to say color book coloring ketchup coloring ketchup and mixed media mustard <laughs> um, I want to do some more 
like hour long videos. I might do one or two over the weekend because I have some things I do want to finish, including what well, I won't say. I have some things I want to finish. And then um, art books as well. I want to do more art book. I don't want to say reviews, but, you know, art book catch-ups, we'll call it, because I want to do more demos from our books, our art books. And I can do those in, like, hour-long segments. See how that looks? I like the white outline. What do y'all think? You like the white outline? I think I, I think that was the right decision. Is everybody off watching Curiosity Incorporated now? <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for all the thumbs up. Oh, I got over 100 likes. Thanks, guys. That's so sweet. Fridays are usually not that busy here. We have over, well, we got about 130, 40 people here, which is good for a Friday because, you know, Friday's my impromptus because I don't, I don't stream every Friday. Um, I stream every Monday and Wednesday, though. I've been pretty, you know, I got to give myself a pat on the back, I think, you know, and it's just, you know, by the grace of God, I'll say. But, um, you know, over eight years, I've hardly missed any any streams, you know, like a couple of vacation days. But I've hardly missed any uh, streams over eight years. Um, I did change my days. They're Monday and Wednesday now. I don't remember what they used to be. They used to be two other days. But... Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Suze. Thanks, thanks, Jennifer. I mean, uh, Jessica. Uh, thanks, guys. And thanks all you guys that support the channel and send things like uh, like Lynn sent today. Well, they came in yesterday. The uh, two abandoned books. So we have duplicates to show before and after. Things like that. Just makes this channel so fun. Okay, something. I'm going to have to get rid of this black line right there. There. I'm gonna have to do something with that. Have to clean that up. <clears throat> yeah, don't do y'all like it with the white outline? I think I like it with the white outline. Oh, thanks, Donna. <laughs> thanks, Prisma. So yeah, uh, let me go ahead and keep going right along the edge of his body here. I'll continue to work on them off camera, but I wanted y'all to see some of it. You know, a lot of it, you know, a lot of what you watched today was really kind of just tedious because it takes a long time, but I want y'all to see things being done. Show you as many, I, I try to show you everything I know. <laughs> everything I know, I try to share with you guys. You know? Let me do right along here. Oh, my paint. I need, might need to get out another Posca. I've been using this one for a couple weeks. I think I need to get a new one out. Oh, thank you. That's so nice, Dev. I hope y'all learn a lot from here being here. You know, if if I don't know something, I'll try to find someone that does. Tell y'all where to go. Because, you know, between... All of us that are here, we can probably find the answer. I mean, of course, Google. You can Google anything. But we, you know, we've watched so many videos and know so many supplies. And then, of course, there's always Eileen the Enabler Elf. If there's a supply you need to know something about, she can probably tell you about it, where to get it, what it can do, who put it out, who, who manufactured it, what year. <laughs> I knew what you meant. I knew, knew. I knew what you meant, uh, Deb. We read typos here. We we live with Gene. <laughs> we know typos. Okay, now I'm not liking this though. I think that that needs to be just kind of faded in there. So I think I am going to um, I'm going to paint this line out here. I want that 
the edge of that fin to be the light. I don't want that outlined right there. That's better. There we go. Same for right here. I don't want that. I don't want the fin outlined. None of the none of the fins will be outlined. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, guys. I think that that'll do it for today. That'll do it for today. We've been here like three hours. That's a good amount of time. Uh, so, yeah, I, I will go ahead and fin continue painting around all the bubbles, uh, shading the fish. There's some shading close up there. And uh, I am going to at least make a small prints out of it. I won't make posters. Oh, I was going to show you my posters. Let me set this aside somewhere where the cat won't walk on it. Um, a couple of my collage big posters that I just have rolled up. Uh-oh! One moment, please. I just knocked you on my pencil case. No big deal. It's good. It's all good. It's, good. it's all good. Okay. Um, that poster and these, these two that I have rolled up. They're really big. I don't know how. Let me see how zoomed in. <laughs> let me see if I can zoom out real quick here. Oh, I am zoomed out as far as I can go. Okay, so these are a couple of collage posts. I wanted to show you the planets. So this is what I was thinking about doing planets around the fish like these. See, planets like this. <clears throat> but I think I'm just going to go ahead and do bubbles instead of planets because the fish, I don't want the fish color. I just want it black and white. So I think I'll just leave it. Um, I'll leave it black and white. So, again, it wants to flash out, but here's one of the big posters. This is all, you know. Sorry for that ASMR moment. And then this one here, same thing. I've got a whole story with this solar system. So, yeah. This one's huge. I don't even think I can unroll the whole thing. But it's got a whole world going on in this one. <laughs> I can't even show it, guys. It wants to flash out. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you there, little Malibu. All that ASMR going on. <laughs> You're welcome, guys. Thanks for hanging out while we worked on the fish. Uh, okay. So y'all have a great weekend and um be click cling the bell, ring the bell so if you might get so if I do anything over the weekend, you'll get notifications. All right, guys. <laughs> See you later. A fish called Simba. That's not a bad thing. I'm gonna write that down, Dev. A fish called Simba. Simba, yeah, you know, like the like the cart the movie, the cartoon. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Bye.